I survived 100 days in fantasy Minecraft hardcore. This mod pack turns Minecraft into one of the best fantasy games I've ever played. It adds classes, mounts, unique gear, and so much more. In these 100 days, I use new legendary weapons, tame mystical creatures, and take on the most powerful bosses you've ever seen. All while following a quest line and story with hidden lore. With that being said, everybody, relax, grab your favorite snacks, and enjoy as I try to survive 100 days in Fantasy Minecraft Hardcore. It's doing tricks. That's, that's amazing. That's incredible. Top 10 finds in this video for sure. Oh, good. Oh my God. I knocked that skeleton back so far. Ooh, that's good. Oh no. Oh my God. What is he doing? What is he doing? Stop. I don't want to talk about what I just did. I've been corrupted by this weapon. Okay, so right off the bat, we get to choose our origin, which is pretty cool. And uh, there's a lot of options to choose from. Human, I'm probably not going to go with, but let's quickly read it. Skill, you gain proficiency in one skill of your choice. Elves are magical people of otherworldly grace. They have an easier time hiding in foliage and are slightly faster. I really like half orc, just as an option so far. You get 20% more melee damage. You can get saved if you drop to zero health. There's some crazy options. Incubus, Banshee, Arachne, which is like, I think, Spider. So Yeti has some pretty cool traits. It gives you a lot of health, gives you a magic ability to entomb enemies in ice, and you have more power in the snow, but less power in the desert. And you also take more damage to fire. That's the main thing that I'm a bit worried about. We're slightly bigger though, which isn't too bad. We are immune to slowness. We have way more health than a regular human. We're going to select Yeti. Okay, so right off the bat, we spawn with a wooden chest plate that has some additional perks on it. A shield, a wooden sword, food, and also a couple of books. So, oh, you can make weapons and it looks like you can imbue them with abilities. This kind of reminds me of Death Knights from World of Warcraft. I'm guessing that's what this is based on, if you guys know what that is. We have our quest book and this is going to be our main guide as to what we want to do. So, it looks like to start, there's some basic kind of things things like observe a wolf and then there's also i believe some bosses i don't know what zarp tuck is but uh, for example you can make a giant by throwing a strength potion on a zombie it seems and look at the rewards we get they're pretty crazy if we look into these things there are a bunch of bosses that we're gonna have to fight and a bunch of weapons to collect as we can see so yeah i mean this is kind of like an mmo rpg but in minecraft edition i'm moving oddly fast and I have a lot of health. As you can see, I have orange hearts, which means that's like a second row of them. Yeah, I'd say we chose a really good race. Uh, taking a look at our map, which is really useful, by the way. I think I see a village over there. And then I don't know what this is. Let's take a look. Oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not ready to fight anything. Hold on. Oh, no. I've, I think I've walked into a very bad area, folks. Oh, okay. It's a level one illusioner, but I don't want to fight an illusioner right now. With this pack, it's going to be all about adventuring to find loot because, I mean, the things you can find are pretty crazy in mod packs like this. Yeah, like here we got a chest, rotten flesh. Okay, not too good. Not exactly what we're looking for. Hello, owl. <laughs> Level one owl. <laughs> oh, I almost feel like taking it out, but I won't do it. I won't do it. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I didn't do anything. Okay, usually I'm very friendly with animals, but folks, this time I'm a Yeti, okay? And I cannot uh, cannot be a softie on this one. And there's another owl. Don't look, guys, don't look. So let's head over to what I think is a village. It's a little bit of a trip, but we can make it there, no problemo. And look at that, there's some more hay bales here. Thank you very much. There's also like a hidden chest here. Potatoes and apples I'll take. I don't care too much for the glistening melon slices. Glistering. Yeah, I'm gonna have to resort to eating some rotten flesh for now, but that's all right. Hello, level one sheeps. Um, I'm totally not gonna take you out. I would never do such a thing. Guys, you can't get mad at me. I need food. I don't know what this is. I mean, it's completely out of our way, but it's kind of just a random mushroom here. Looks pretty cool. Random little mystical mushroom. Okay. Alrighty. That's a thing. Oh, hello. Uh, level one zombie. Um, well, if you'd like to spare some gear, that'd be great. Okay, there we go. We took him out and press K to open your new skill tree. Oh, 
Path of the Initiate, plus one to all schools of magic. Path of the Warrior, plus 10% melee damage. And Path of the Wayfarer, plus 10% movement speed. I mean, I think we should go for the melee damage just because we're fully embodying this Yeti race at this point. And it should open up a lot of damage capabilities for us here. So that's cool. Okay, here we go. This is what I saw on the map. I hope it's actually a village. There's a lot to discover and explore. Oh. Hold on, old champion's remains. There's uh, a boss here, that's pretty random. Old champion's remains. So that's one of the bosses that uh, we're gonna want to take out. And it does seem like it's becoming nighttime, so it's a good thing we're posted up in a cozy village. And I'm also going to very uh, amicably borrow loot. Oh yeah, this is what I like to see. And we might be able to sleep off our first night here. Yes, we can. Okay, new day. I don't feel much different yet, but you know what? We are in a good position. I'd say that we're doing pretty good on food now. We probably want to collect some wood by this point, so let us do that. Let's make ourselves some tools. Okay, full set of stone tools. And it looks like everything you craft gains a specific type of trait so our shovel has increased durability and reach which is nice and our sword has decreased crit chance but more durability pretty cool hello guard how are you doing sir so we've got some basic loot and it's probably a good time to adventure for a little bit definitely not gonna fight this boss yet but we will later what do we got over there? We got some kind of a floating structure, almost uh, like a lighthouse looking thing. <laughs> do we want to go up there already? I mean, I guess we could. I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, I've got a good amount of building blocks. So let us build up to the island here. There's a lot of ore here, which isn't bad at all. Let's see if there's anything else though. Welcome to your island. Um, okay. What others are there? Interesting. Hello. There's a lighthouse and a lot of stairs. <laughs> a lot of stairs. Feel good. Yeah. <laughs> what? Um, okay. Let's see, heavenly tea, okay. Bunch heavenly petals, gives a slow falling effect. Oh, we need that. Whoa, epic diamond great, great hammer. Spell infinity, spells are free to cast. Look at this thing though, two handed, plus 10% crit chance, 20% durability increase, and plus one luck. Whoa, holy moly. Look at the weapon we found. Are you kidding me? I was not expecting that. Also a diamond sword, cookies, nether wart. Uh, we'll grab that. And I'm already filling up on inventory space really quickly here. So it would be wise to find a place to set up. So we will eat one of these petals and, oh, it only gives you slow fall for like three seconds. Should I risk it and use it midair? I think so. Uh oh, um, I'm gonna have to keep chowing these down. <laughs> Uh, okay, we're good, we're good, right? Uh-oh, oh, 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 oh. What is going on down here, dude? No. What is happening in this mod pack? Okay, I, I'm not prepared, clearly. Okay, let's sleep away the night. Now, I think we should search for a perfect place to set up our base because I have two full of an inventory. Also, look at that. What is that, dude? That looks sick. I wonder if this thing is like rideable or something or tameable at least. Uh, Zarp Tuck. Oh, observe a Zarp Tuck. Look at that. We're getting an achievement for it. Boom. Quest completed. And it looks like we might be able to tame it. Yeah, we are gonna need a saddle though. Oh, it's a zombie. Oh, okay. You know, zombie, I have the, this like OP great hammer thing and you're dead. If we could uh, tame this fella, that'd be great. Oh, I tamed it. Okay. Well, that's great, but I don't know if it's gonna follow me or what. I think we might just have to come back to this later if uh, we get a saddle, that is. Anyways, let us search for a place to set up our base. And I kind of like walking around in this F5 sometimes just because our character looks really cool. Hanging tree. <gasps> oh! Okay, that's creepy, but let's mark the coordinates. I remember we saw this guy in the scariest mod pack video, but we never ended up coming back to him in the night just because it was too difficult. Oh, 
Oh, and look at, oh boy, oh boy. Um, this is uh, the mind cells dimension, I think. Oh boy. I'm glad I have extra health as a Yeti here because I don't know what would happen if I didn't. Anyways, a bunch of cool stuff here. So we will probably come back to defeat that boss, even though I did that kind of recently in another video. Ah yes, Clover Plains. <laughs> Wait, are these chicken? Oh, they're ducks. <laughs> Look at these guys. Oh, these guys are cute, man. These guys are cute. I totally shouldn't take them out for their feathers. <laughs> I don't know why I'm feeling evil in this pack. I think it's because I'm really embodying the Yeti lifestyle. You guys can't even get mad at me. Ooh, what is this up ahead? That's kind of a nice looking building, don't you think? Might be a nice place to start out at least. Oh, wait, no, there's, uh, okay, there's pillagers and stuff. Hello. Well, we definitely can't set up here because they're just gonna keep spawning, but I mean, I can try to do something. I don't love that I cannot use my shield while I'm holding the hammer. Okay, we're not doing this. I got a platinum chunk from that. I don't know what that's for, man. What is that though? Oh my God. How many creatures are in this pack? I was not expecting this. Hello, are you guys friendly? Yes, they are. Hello, Drake. Mythic mobs, huh? Oh, and another, oh boy. Okay, can we stop attacking me, please? Wait, hold on, what if I make the pillager attack this Drake? Okay, that didn't work, ow. Block, good, and crit hit, block. Okay, got him. There's no more, right? Yes. These drakes, can I ride it or something? No. It probably eats some kind of meat, right? Um, apple, meat, br bread, I don't know. What do you like to eat? It's okay, we shall move on. There are a bunch of ruins here, which is rather interesting. Here's a chest. Uh, paper, ink sacks, okay, basic stuff. Oh, and a bow with a bunch of arrows. That's actually a pretty good find, folks. And although I'm not planning on being a massive archer, uh, having a bow in these packs is usually pretty, pretty important. And another chest here. Okay, more arrows. The traits we have on this bow are really bad, so if we take this one as well, and then we combine them, we should get some new traits on this bow. Yeah, those are better, nice. Onwards we go. Uh, what is that? That might be a very nice place to set up, actually. I see a nice basic home. Hello? Are the people living here friendly? Whoa, safe haven. Welcome to dungeons and taverns. Villager, whoa, this villager has a lot of trades for emeralds. And this is a nitwit, look at that, it's a nitwit expert. That's new, isn't it? Anyways, let's see what's inside here. Can we make ourselves cozy? There's a chest, and it's a lot of hay as well. Thank you. Little bed areas, and we will make use of one. Ah yes, nothing better to wake up in the morning to than a zombie burning. Yeah, I'm honestly really liking this as a place to set up as our first base. I know it's not too grand or anything, but for now, it'll serve its purpose very well. I'll probably clear some of this out just so that we have space, and then we can set up some chests here. So we can place some chests like this, very nice. Ooh, feels good. Finally, we're gonna have a clear inventory. <laughs> Boom, stack of bread, beautiful. And we have a lot of apples in the case that we get a bunch of gold. We can make a lot of golden apples. Might be nice to go mining for a little bit because I think we are running on such basic gear that adventuring through anything is gonna be a hassle. And also, we should be keeping up with these skills because we have two more points left. So let's see here. We have a choice between more health and resistance or more damage. I think typically actually getting more health is the best thing you can do because otherwise you just end up taking way too much damage from the bosses and mobs. So there we go. We got some resistance and an additional heart. I figure we should try to find a cave opening. Got a little house here as I'm adventuring. We got more apples and just general food. Also a little painting, which you know what? I will take for ourselves. Here we go. This looks to be a pretty big cave opening over here, which is perfect. It's also a pretty biome. Now there are some ores that uh, I have no idea what they are. So I'll need to adapt to that a bit, but I think I'm mainly gonna be looking for normal ores. Like here we have salt, uh, sigil, whoa. So you can do some stuff with this mod called Bewitchment. We also got tin ore over here, look at this. From Mythic Metals, I don't know what that mod is. Let's see, tin, looks like you can make some gear with it. 
Yes, we got coal. So that's going to let us make some torches. Beautiful. And hold on. It does seem like you can do alloy forging as well, by the way. So you can combine copper and tin into bronze, for example. How good is bronze? Uh, let's see. Can you make armor with it? You can. Bronze chest plate is six armor. An iron one has six armor as well. Okay, so nothing too crazy. Banglam ore. There are a lot of things. That requires iron to mine. Okay, interesting. Maybe we'll get into some alloy crafting because I want to make sure we're gearing up as well as we can. Okay, folks, I just looked into this. This Mythic Metals mod has a bunch of stuff going on with it, which we are definitely going to make use of. You can make a specific type of like alloy furnace as well that lets you get more ores from smelting. So that's another thing we're probably going to do early on. Anyways, enough talking about the mod. Let us continue mining and adventuring. Boy, I hope uh, the mobs down here aren't too crazy, but uh, we're going to find out. A magnanese ore. This lets us make steel, which is just a little bit worse than diamond, but can be a pretty good metal to start out with. Look at that, there's like an iron pile here. Whoa, <laughs> it just keeps giving you more iron. And it looks like we ran into like one of these catacomb dungeons. Oh boy, this might be a bit difficult to progress through right now. Hello, level six skeleton. Okay, I've gotten some iron, so it's probably wise to start smelting this up. Oh yeah, look at that. There's some uh, weird segment of the cave here we'll head down into in a moment. Meanwhile, I'll get my iron and we can make leggings and boots. There we go. Very nice. Hello, strange cave. What is going on down here? Bio shroom caves. Whoa. I almost feel like I'm going to die of some toxicity here. Got lapis lazuli, as I like to call it. <laughs> and another random ore, morkite ore, but I can't mine this without iron, so I will smelt up enough iron for an iron pickaxe. Okay, there we go. Iron pickaxe acquired, and we can mine this morkite. Oh, you can make TNT with this. Okay. Uh, Duras steel engine, Banglum TNT. And we found our first piece of gold, cool. I'm sure with the adventuring we can do in the nether, we'll probably find exponentially more gold than we'll ever find mining here, but we'll still pick it up. Quadrillum ore, um, okay. Oh goodness, there's so many things we're gonna need to look into here. Look at this, nuke core. Um, I mean, I don't know if we're in the mood to make a nuke, but we have that option. Latinum ore, look at that. <laughs> I mean, I don't care about the mobs anymore. I'm just fascinated by all these different ores we can find. This uh, block veridescent annihilium makes a lot of squishy sounds. Listen to this. Oh, not a good sound to have in your ears. And it looks like we're at deep slate level now. I actually need to collect some of this stuff for the forge that we want to make. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm seeing mobs now. Okay, here it is, folks. The real danger is starting. Now that mobs are here, I need to make sure we have full iron. Let me smelt some more of this up immediately. I can already make an iron helmet, and uh, it makes me a little bit more confident to come up here. Hello. Oh my god, maybe I shouldn't be confident. Oh my god. Oh my god! The shots are going through my shield. Oh boy, and a ghost is coming after me. Got him. Got the skeleton. Okay. Now I need to take out the ghost, I'm assuming. Okay, well, I got it, so that's good. There's this little camp here. Sometimes these are fake chests, so we should watch out. Nope, it's real, good. Oh, and look at that, we got gold ingots. Blocks of copper, which I'm not too big of a fan of, but in this pack, maybe we'll find use for it. And then we got a chest uh, with diamonds. Ooh, look at that, okay, I like that a lot. What is this, verglass? Oh, okay, so this is ore from another mod that is also an important ore, because you can use this, look at that, to make some cool weapons. Oh, goblin trader, hello. Oh, how I've missed you, my friend. I often uh, run into this fella. What a good guy. Look at this. You want iron? Boom. Just doubled our iron. What else can you do for us? Uh, gold. Yep. 
You just can't not love this guy, you know? You gotta love him. Uh, now this Enderman is nice because I would like to head into the end eventually. So if we can just quickly cheese it and take him out easy peasy, that'd be great. There we go, Ender Pearl. Okay, uh, I mean, we've got a good amount of ores and everything we really needed when we came down here. So I think, ooh, this is a good little find. I think it's a good time to head on out of here. So I shall mine out. Okay, we've made it up to the surface, very nice. And I forgot to mark our home, didn't I? Whoops. Okay, well, we'll find it, but I guess we'll do that in a moment because what is going on here? This is a village, it seems? Wow, okay, very cool looking village. Oh, there's a bounty board here, look at that. But I don't think we necessarily need anything. What is that? Is that an Enderman? Wait, look, this is an Enderman. Mushroom Fields Enderman. Oh, well, he wouldn't do anything weird if I attack him, right? Because, I mean, I am trying to stockpile Ender Pearls here. Oh, no, don't be weird, man. Where'd he go? Now he's gonna have a revenge arc against me if I don't take him out, so I I'm just gonna finish it. Uh, that is if I can find it. Okay, um, well, that's fine. Whoa, look at this. Here is a structure. It's not our home, though. It seems like uh, it's a horse stable. Huh. Oh, there's a saddle right there. I think we're gonna keep the saddle for a little bit here because I'm curious if we can use it on that animal we saw earlier. We can hang up our painting. What's a good spot? Right there. Okay. You know, weird. Weird picture, but we're gonna go with it. Well, while we have a second here, we can look into the quest rewards we've been getting. And I think we've unlocked a bunch. So yeah, we got some XP levels, apples, some golden apples, which reminds me, we need to get to, to that czar tuck that we found earlier and try to use a saddle on it. Where would it be? I believe it was somewhere in this direction. Oh, here we go. It's flying. Are you kidding me? There's no way you're telling me that we can get a flying mount already. My only issue is it's up there and I'm down here. Uh, how am I actually gonna get the saddle on it? Oh boy, I might need to build up to it. Yes. Yes. Oh, look at that. Wow, this is, uh, this is crazy. So early on and we already have a flying mount like this. Are you kidding me? Wow. Uh, now I did allow it to get to nighttime by accident, so let's return home before anything crazy spawns. The next best step for us really would be heading out and enchanting our gear. So I reckon we head to a village and do so over there. Here's an enchanting table. Now I do kind of need a grindstone to get this spell infinity off of our hammer. Okay, there we go, grindstone. And with that, we can take off the enchantment to now re-enchant this with something hopefully better. No, you're telling me I can't enchant this hammer? What, what? Oh, oh, hold on. This is a binding table or something. This is an enchanting table. Um, we're gonna forget about that for now, but what we're not gonna forget about are these bookshelves. I am going to take them and we're gonna make an enchanting table for ourselves. Uh, that does also mean we want to find diamonds though. And I guess we have a few ways of doing so. One of them just being adventuring, which I think is the most fun right now. So let's get our mount, which uh, we need a name for, by the way, because Zarptuck is a dif difficult name to say. I'll think one up and uh, we'll, we'll name it soon. Here's some flying islands. Look at this. This is something I would never do if I didn't have this fella. Looks like it's uh, like a floating village though. Hello. Ooh, we got slime balls, blaze rods even, and steak. Ancient rose, whoa. Smells like ancient. And what else do we have here? What? An elytra. Am I being trolled right now? Or did I really just find a whole elytra here? That's, uh, that's pretty overpowered. Um, it would seem that there's like a cape slot, but it doesn't seem like I can actually use it. Um, oh, where did, no, no, come back, please. No, please don't do that. No, come, oh boy. I was afraid this would happen. I'm sure there's some kind of a way you can control these mounts, but I don't know what that way is. I'm almost tempted to try to jump in midair 
catch it, but it's just not worth the risk at this point. Okay, wait, I, I have another plan, I guess. I can build over to the water, which isn't too far away. Can't believe I got ditched by my mount like that. I was supposed to save this deep slate, but that didn't go well. And let's go. Woo, okay. <laughs> We're good. What is that? Is that a flamingo? Hello? Flamingo! Oh, there we go. I'll give you pets, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a vindicator. Since when are these guys here, dude? Okay, this guy we can take out easily. Goodbye. Oh, and we got a zombie chasing us. Okay. I need to sleep off the night. Please don't hit me. Oh my god. That skeleton does a lot of damage. Oh, holy moly. There it is. There it is. It's finally lying down. Okay. Let's go. Yep. Out we go. Well, there were no diamonds there, that's for sure. Only pain. And there's something over here. Another one of these floating buildings, which don't seem to have any diamonds for us. I'm a little bit hesitant to just run out in case our bird runs out on us again. Here's another saddle. Name tag. Eyes of Ender, even. Epic Iron Shovel. And a Heavenly Tea. So what happens if I drink a Heavenly Tea? Oh, it gives you a bunch of really nice perks. Look at that. It gives you instant health and regeneration and resistance for a bit, I think. Another cool looking village here. Look at this. Not bad at all. Still not what we need, though. We do have a floating village over here. Again, I don't think we're gonna find diamonds here though. Oh, whoa, hold on, flaming quiver. Um, I did not realize that there were artifacts in this pack. We'll keep that in our inventory. Oh, oh, did, did, oh, that guy just fell in the lava. All right, well, goodbye, sir. <laughs> no, please don't do the same thing, Toolsmith. Please, buddy. Onwards we go. Look at that, there's something over there on the map that looks pretty sick. Whoa, here we go. Got a little temple. Okay, I've been seeing more of these recently. I don't mind adventuring into this. I have not seen one with like a face in the front before though. Now I do think we might actually be able to find some diamonds in here, so let's check it out. Nope, oh, and um, okay. Is there even a way out? Like, are we just gonna die? Oh no. Oh, okay. Is there another room we can go into? There's no other room. Are you telling me there's a way to get through here and not die? Oh, okay. Oh boy. Oh, it's like playing Russian roulette. Only problem is I, I, I don't know how I get out of here. I do know that this is giving us a bunch of arrows though. I wanna collect all these to be honest. I think it ran out of arrows just because of how bad I was at it. Oh no, it still has more. We're gonna take those folks. Block of emerald, okay. A little bit suspicious looking, but nevertheless. Okay, we can head down further. Ow. Um, just ominous water. I don't love that. We'll just swim across then. I mean, I hope I don't get bitten by piranhas or something. Oh, 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 bad, 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 bad. Vindicators? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. That almost killed me right there. We need golden apples on our bar. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I did not think that would break everything. I also broke my axe just now. Oh, boy. Hello, hello, Vin oh, there's a pillager too, okay. We'll take you, you out easily. Where did the Vindicator go? Ow, 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 ow. There we go, this is what I wanted. Now where is this Vindicator? There's the Vindicator, should be able to get it from here. Ow, oh my God. He just got me to half a heart, okay. There we go, dead. Uh oh, okay, yes, I wanted to break through to cheat. Um. I did not want the silverfish to spawn. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, okay, that's a bit of an issue. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I am getting a bunch of skill points from this, I'll tell you that much. It might be a good way to farm skill points. Okay, well, totally legitimately got through to, you know, this entrance here. And a bunch of emeralds, okay. Cool, but where are my diamonds? Maybe here? Whoa, epic arcane orb. Orb Weaver's Grace. Move normally while casting. Sharpness, 
So this gives you a bunch of arcane spell power and stuff. Oh man, it seems like we might need to get into some spell casting. Oh, and there we go. We got three diamonds. I mean, that's good. That's exactly what we were looking for. I'll tell you what, I really need a backpack. <laughs> Okay, let's head on out of here. Now, do we still have our Zarptuck? <laughs> Zarptuck, where are you hiding, buddy? We're gonna have to call it Heidi because that's what it loves to do, apparently. Oh, there it is. There's our Zarptuck. Oh, goodness. I know for a fact that this is gonna end up being a huge problem, but you know what? I'm just gonna enjoy this mount while we have it. I do actually think I have two diamonds back at home. So let's head back and put our diamonds to use so that we can make an enchanting table. Oh, I'm finally back home, but a bunch of mobs are spawning again, which I really, I really don't like that. We're gonna have to take these fellas out. Taking enemies out like this actually really benefits us because it gives us skill points, so I don't mind this at all. Look at this, Carnage. While at or above 75 stacks of rage or exhaustion, gain health boost and immobilizing aura. Well, I mean, let's unlock it just because it's a whole ability for us. We can also unlock the sword fall ability, so I'm gonna start working towards that, which we can actually get with our next point. So let's get to these diamonds. So diamond pickaxe, and now we need to head out and mine some obsidian, which I'm realizing is gonna be a little bit dangerous, but let's go do it. Oh, here's a ruined nether portal though, which, uh, <laughs> well, now that I see this, that'll solve all of our issues, won't it? There's a formidable amount of obsidian there. And a chest as well. Common gold maze. That's a cool item, but we don't need it. Coin pouch. Golden carrots. Cool. I'm gonna quickly mine this, get ourselves some obsidian. Bam. Enchanting table. Boom. 18 bookshelves, just like that. Where can we set this up? I guess what we could do is break this little chunk out. Not before sleeping, though. Okay, and now we can place our enchanting table here, and we'll just fill in the rest of these bookshelves. I'm doing it in a really weird way for some reason. There we go, that should be level 30, it is. And Fortune 3, that did not look bad to me at all. What would we get on our Great Hammer? Smite 4, not so great. And Phantom's Mark 3, it just applies glowing to enemies. I don't really want that. But Fortune 3 does seem like something we would definitely benefit from, so we will go with that one. Boom, oh, perfect pickaxe. Unbreaking, meh, unbreaking, meh. Now there is actually a reroll option here, but we should also consider the possibility of just putting an enchantment on our armor because that'll help us survive. So let me re-roll here. Yeah, protection four, bam, perfect, yes. And we also got a quest reward here. Boom, that gives us three more levels, so level 30. Sharpness three, huh. Um, okay, let's do it. Sharpness three, Prospector three, why not? Prospector gives us a chance of getting emeralds when we defeat enemies. And one thing that I wanted to do was look into the Paladin spells because these are gonna give us healing and damage. So if we grab some books and lapis, let's see what we can do. So if we go to one of these spellbinding tables, we should be able to do something. So boom, lapis and book. And yeah, there we go, Paladin Librum. So if we do that, look at that, we got Divine Protection and Flash Heal. Protects you from the next three incoming attacks for eight seconds. And Flash Heal heals you or a friendly target by one to one and a half health points. Holy Book. Yes. Holy shock, heal you or a friendly target and smite an enemy. Or holy light, channels a beam of light, healing friends and dealing spell damage. Okay, we will be able to cast while having the great hammer in hand, but we need to get healing runes first, which require cobblestone and gold nuggets. That's actually pretty inexpensive. So let us drop this fella back at home and then we will find a caving system. Mainly, we would just need cobblestone really, but it would also be nice to find the ores that'll let us upgrade to steel, for example, or something even better than diamond. And so the mining begins. And I'm starting to see a pretty interesting biome on our mini map here. It's like rainbows, so let's see what it is. Prismachasm. 
Oh yeah, okay, I know this biome. Look at this, man, this is sick. I've found this one before, but I haven't really walked through it a lot. Look at how cool it looks, man. I would uh, debate just setting my base up here, honestly. <laughs> Sir, there's a spawner up ahead. Oh, it's spawning all right. Break that. Okay. Not gonna lie, with our hammer here, we are very, very vulnerable to skeletons, and I don't like it at all. Look at that, though, the old eye. I guess we need to collect the 12 unique eyes to get to the end in this pack. Whoa, 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 whoa. hold on. Look at what I just found. Okay. Um, uncommon soul pyre. It does two more damage, so it does 13. And then on right click, instigate a tethering of souls, trading places with and freezing your target while gaining haste and resistance. Upon reaching your destination, ignite nearby enemies and pull them closer to you. After six seconds, your soul tether is severed, causing you to trade places with your target a second time. Um, I'm not gonna lie, that is a pretty confusing item. We will test this out. Here we go, hello. Boom, I used it. Um, wow. Pretty powerful. I can't give my final verdict yet, but it almost seemed like they couldn't attack me while I was doing that. Okay, time to test this on a creeper. Might be a terrible idea. But, I don't know. Kind of worked. It's setting everything on fire around us. Wow, dude. You say diamond door. Oh, how nice is that? Well, I just mined some of this Karmot, and it looks like it gives you bonus looting on items. And then I also got this Karmot stone that lists itself as a Mithril Drill Upgrade. Oh, there's a structure here. Hello. Diamonds, thank you. A lot of diamonds. I've been getting a good amount of gold here, which is nice. And cobblestone is easy to collect as well. Oh, I see something over there. I think it's literally a stronghold, guys. Hold on. I don't know if that's really lucky or if they spawn more commonly, but let's head over there. I'm gonna mine over there and get diamonds along the way. Thank you very much. A lot of them too. Wow. Wow, a lot of diamonds. That was two veins together. Okay, great. We're up to 26. That's a very solid amount. Aha, here we go. Yep. Stronghold. I spy. Look at this. We got a necklace that gives you frost and soul spell power. Nothing that we are really prioritizing right now, but I will take it and equip it anyways. Glacial Gladius. Interesting. It steals heat from your enemies when attacking. Become intangible, attacking the nearest enemy five times over a second, dealing 12.8 to 19.1 physical damage and frost damage. I think we just found a pretty powerful weapon, folks. And it would seem that these stronghold chests hold a lot of this crazy stuff. Yeah, look, Eternal Knife, Pillar of the Monkey King. This has three different abilities. I need a backpack, okay? We just need leather, that's it. Look at how many spells I have here. Whoa, I can just permanently, <laughs> permanently whirlwind. I wanna test this out on enemies. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're dead. That was pretty quick. There we go. So far, I think the Soul Pyre is just the best, hands down. Oh, this one's a rare version of the Pillar of the Monkey King with Sharpness 4 on it. <laughs> I'll take it. And a plus two health necklace, which, you know what, is better than our current one. Oh, and here's a random toy shark. Oh, you can place it, that's cute. Is it necessary? Not at all. Am I gonna take it? Yes, definitely. Smite oil. Adds smite to a tool and turns it into a spell container if it isn't already. Let's see what the smite does. So it deals a bunch of damage and healing damage to each enemy as well. Okay, let's see how smite works here. Oh, okay. That works pretty well, folks. Um, You could say that I'm very happy with that, you know, to say the least. Die. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, you're trying to attack me? Bam, you're gone. Here's the portal, easy peasy. Oh, okay, and here we have another overpowered. Look at this, 4,000 durability. This had 1,800, this one had 2,780, and this one has 4,000, okay? We're gonna try it out. Hello. Okay, well, you're dying and you're dead. That was pretty simple, actually, the blizzard thing. And our attack speed with this weapon is actually way faster than the other two, isn't it? It is. My range with this is so long. 
Sorry, bat. We also got three more skill points. Look at that sword fall. I'm going to get more resistance. There we go. Okay, I think it's time to get out of here because at this rate, I'm just gonna be stuck here forever with how cool this is. Disturbing the dead too. What kind of an achievement is that? Enter a large graveyard. Um, okay. Great to know that I'm in a graveyard. There are chests here though. Nothing too special in these. Golden apple, that's good though. And netherite scrap. Um, okay, maybe I lied about there being nothing too special here. Runic tablet. Can be used to craft and re-roll runic weapons. Can also be used to repair unique weapons. Oh. All right, well, that had a lot of loot. Hello. Not as scared of the pillager anymore. Kind of feeling confident to enter their building, actually. Smithing upgrade. Oh, increases knockback dealt by the wearer of pocket piston. Okay, well, equip that. And shock powder. That stuns nearby enemies, I believe. Hi, guys. So, oh, you want to fight me? Take this blizzard. Oh, okay, that's not very effective. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, switch weapons. Okay, that was pretty effective. And I'm running because I'm taking way too much damage. Okay, it spawned me back. I forgot that did that. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. There we go, take that. That fire ability, pretty powerful. Not gonna lie to you. Okay, now we're running. Ow, oh boy. I'm kind of cutting it too close here. We need upgrade sword gear. Okay, we're finally back with our enormous inventory. Uh, I definitely think we need to get a backpack quite literally as soon as possible because I am kind of sick of dealing with not having enough inventory space. Come here, Zarp Tuck. And you need to find some cows, buddy. Oh, that is overpowered. There we go, eight leather. Nice, boom and boom. Frayed backpack. We're gonna turn that into the iron variant right away. And then we should even be able to do the gold. Yes. And then is there another variant? Diamond. Okay, the diamonds I'm a little bit more greedy over, but okay, I'll do it. Bam, bejeweled backpack. There we go, backpack. Oh, look at that. We can just press this button and it lets us access it. Beautiful. Now, I do also have a good amount of diamonds and a lot of gear that I need to upgrade. So I will go ahead and make all of these pieces. Let's uh, collect some more of our quest rewards here. Ice Whisperer. Whoa, seven levels for that. Seven levels for that one. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're getting a very good amount of levels from these. We can easily start enchanting. What is that? Death Barter. When you die, you can pay your way out of death with emeralds. Are you kidding me? I mean, if I start carrying around emeralds with me, can I just survive? Because that'd be great. Okay, so we're all geared up in diamond, and we are obviously working towards getting as many levels as possible so that we can enchant it perfectly. But until then, it might be a good time to try and head into the nether. My only huge hesitation is the fact that I am vulnerable to any type of fire damage. Yeah, I mean, that should be a big hesitation, shouldn't it? A yeti really is not welcome in the nether, unfortunately. We have this portal here. I might be able to scrap together the blocks just well enough to make it work. There's also a witch here though, so let's, uh, yeah, let me try to fix this up here. There we go. That should be a workable portal. Now I just need flint. There we go, flint. Okay, with that, we can light, oh, wow, light up the portal, perfect. But I did remember before we do that, I'd like to make that special furnace that can smelt different ores. To make that, we need deep slate bricks and a blast furnace. There we go, deep slate stone cutter. We can turn a couple deep slate into deep slate bricks, bam. We actually want to get smooth stone. And there we go, blast furnace plus deep slate brick forge controller, bam. Now we're gonna need to combine that with a certain type of block structure here in order to actually make this thing work. So one, two, three, like this. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Is that working? It is, we did it. Okay, cool. Alley Forge. And I believe we would just wanna throw in some coal in there. Bam, perfect. Oh wow, it really eats up that coal. And now we can start smelting iron up. And let's see how much this gives us. Three iron ingots. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. We are tripling our ores. 
Oh boy, I'm running low on chest space, which indicates two things. First of all, that, you know, we should probably move out of this place and find a bigger one. But second of all, that, you know, while I'm not able to do that, we should make space for chests. And I'm thinking we can make a little open floor concept here. There we go, looking much better. Now we can fill this up with chests. Now, next on our list was heading into the nether. Okay, let's do this. There we go. First thing I'm gonna do upon entering this place is I'm gonna mark our portal and I'm gonna make it purple to make it aesthetic. Thank you very much. It's time to start exploring. And I mean, I've gotta say, this does not disappoint at all. Look at how beautiful it is. And there's a structure here. Oh my God. Those are pillagers? Oh, I need golden boots, don't I? I always forget this. Let me grab some. There we go, golden boots. Okay, back in we go. Okay, hello, piglin. Oh, you guys look sick. They look like uh, blood orcs, you know? Anyways, I am not going to mess with these guys. Now I am noticing I am much slower in the nether because I mean, I think that carries through with the Yeti's perks where we are worse off in the desert. And I guess that applies to the nether too, but it is what it is. Now here's random diamonds that I guess I will <laughs> take. Wow. Um, more diamonds here. I don't know if I just got really lucky or if this is very common, but either way, I'm completely okay with it. Hello, spawner. Coin pouch, legendary arcane spell blade. Look at that. It still is nothing amazing. If we would have gotten one of our unique weapons to be legendary, that would have been awesome. Oh, The Witcher 3, steal for hunt. Music from The Witcher 3. I've actually been wanting to make a video on The Witcher 3. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts on that. Please do. Yeah, I think this is a great place to try to upgrade our gear a bit. And I'm guessing that uh, we have a larger chance of finding legendary items in the nether than in the overworld. So that's another good little thing. Here's a blaze, hello. Get smited. Oh, come here. Oh, I love our smite. Do we have any more skill points? We do, we have one more, okay. So I do wanna start, you know, getting more healing power. That'd be kind of nice. Let's start progressing towards it here. Oh, there's another fortress here. I did not realize. The king's residence. Enter the Blaze King's tower, wait. Oh no, that's a piglin brute. Oh no. Oh no, get away from me, get away. Oh my God. I apparently I had a totem on dying. Oh, it's because of death barter. Oh, it used about 45 emeralds and it saved me. Oh my God. I almost died. That was very overwhelming. I'm not gonna lie to you folks. Now look at this. We have an uncommon royal longbow here, which you know what? I'd be happy to take. I feel like that's gonna be better than our bow. And it also looks really cool, but we really cannot have a performance like that if we want to survive. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Boom. If a piglin brute comes out, we just have to attack with our generic attack. Because when I try to smite them, it takes too long and I die. Anyways, this is like the Blaze King apparently. So maybe there's a boss here. Look at that, Netherite Ruby Ring, plus 8% attack damage. That's actually really nice. And I did get some Magma Cream, meaning we can probably brew up Fire Resistance Potion soon, which would be an amazing idea for us as a Yeti. I did get a Netherite Upgrade Template, which is beautiful. We definitely wanted that. And, oh, look at this netherite citron ring, plus 8% healing power. So a lot of really, really great items that can be found here. There's also a, uh, you know, mysterious ladder going down, which might lead us towards the boss. Look at that, Maximilian Helm. Interesting. It's actually better stats than our diamond helmet. Enter the Blaze King's tower inside a nether fortress. Hmm. Oh, there's an upstairs part. Oh boy, okay. And I saw a blaze. Let me try this new bow out. Wow, two shots and it takes out a blaze. That's good. Loot chest here. I got a bunch of harpoons I've been finding, which uh, is pretty interesting. Oh, there's a wither skeleton. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Go away, go away. Block of gold, I guess we'll pick that up. Uh-oh, that's the boss. Okay, look, I'm willing to try and fight this boss, but we're gonna need to do a couple things beforehand. We're gonna need fire resistance potions, that's for sure. And I also want full protection for diamond armor, okay? I, th I think that is a fair compromise, folks. So it's time to do the usual routine of getting levels and enchanting. And so the enchanting begins. Protection for, oh yes. Here we go, quartz. 
Thank you very much. Oh, and I shouldn't forget about our quest rewards. Let me just check what we've got. That's five levels. Yes, so we can use that. For now, I will keep mining though. More diamonds. Wow. Oh, and I found another chest here from a spawner, which has a runic tablet again. So that's good. Topaz ring, more music discs. Might be nice to get some enchanted books as well, just because with my chest plate here, it's epic and I don't want to lose that. Uh, and I also don't want to lose death barter. So we can easily put protection three on, for example. I'll collect my additional levels here. Looks like I might be running out of lapis. I'm out of lapis completely, actually. That means that we need to quickly go underground. Hello, everybody. Oh, I'm so overpowered, it's crazy. Here I found a little lapis pile, so that'll give us just a few pieces. Look at this, divine protection, can't hit me. One shot, one shot, one shot, and one shot. Oh, an armored up zombie? One shot. about two and a half stacks of lapis. I think we are done for now. Okay, so we're back with lapis lazuli. Let us enchant uh, thorns too. That's not gonna do it. Uh, let's see if we can enchant something else because I have a limited amount of levels here. Yeah, it'd probably be nice to enchant a new chest plate and see if we can get protection on it. Protection three, and then we're gonna combine that with this book which gives us protection four. I can't believe we got thorns too, though. That kind of ruins it. Okay, there we go. Protection, unbreaking, and respiration. That's better than nothing. Honestly, we're doing about as good as we are ever gonna do. So let me get an anvil, and I can get the iron from our alloy forge, which is going to work. And we should be able to just combine these. Not perfect, not perfect at all, but good enough for now. Okay, I mean, we kind of have our full set of protection armor here. Wait, can I put protection four on our chest plate, I wonder? Yes, I can. Now I just need to make some fire resistance potions. I just need the glass bottles. Thank you. And then I also wanted to get our name tag. And initially I wanted the name to be just Heidi for our pet, but now I'm thinking like Heidi. So it's like an actual name, but it still has the meaning of Heidi. Where are you, Heidi? There you go, Heidi, you're a good girl. Good girl, Heidi, yes. With that done, folks, it might be time to approach this blaze boss, I am able to make just a few additional golden apples. Boom. And I don't think there's much left for us to do other than to head in. It does seem like I have significantly less health in the nether, so we really need to watch out for that. Okay, here we are. We are back. I'm just gonna drink the fire resistance right away. I don't wanna forget. And it's gonna last us for eight minutes. I think if we just, you know, attack it. Blaze King. Oh boy. Okay, we're going. Boom, divine protection so it can't hit me for a few hits. Boom. I think the fact that we have fire resistance is really helping us. I cannot see much. I'm gonna use our divine protection. Look at that. Oh, that looks sick. I never saw that before. We're gonna take it out, man. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Something's going on. Golden apple. And yeah, there we go. Oh, oh. <gasps> Look at that, Blaze King's helmet. Amplifies the power and determination of the bear when at low health. Okay, cool, we got a nice little mythic item. Well, with that done, I would be happy to scout around the nether a little bit more. Whoa, look at this, Crimson Forest. Yeah, I'd say it's scary looking. Oh no, these guys are in this pack. Hello, I divine shielded, you cannot hit me, but I can hit you, my friend. Here we go. I think this is just another nether fortress. However, this part is like a wither skeleton fortress and it usually has some pretty decent loot. So I'd like to check it out real quick. Goodbye. I really love my spells. They are very, very helpful. Being a crusader is an amazing class because it gives you invulnerability. What else do you want? What is this? Bramblethorn. Unique effect. Chance on hit to release a blanket of toxic spores, slowing and poisoning anything nearby. Okay. We'll take it because it's a unique weapon. Okay, not finding anything too special here. I think it is time to head home.
Okay, now there are two things I want to do next. One of them is to find a new place to set up our base because I really think we're outgrowing this little house here. And then number two is finding a new set of gear for ourselves. And there are a lot of sets of armor. So for now, we can go with the Maximilian set because it is pretty good and it has more armor than diamond. We will have to move on from this afterwards though because we need to find something better. For example, this hallowed armor is one of the more powerful I've seen. It has four armor toughness and nine armor, so it's even better than netherite. So uh, yeah, let's try to find a cool place to set up our base. If I can find Heidi, who is currently hiding. Aren't you, Heidi? Oh, there you are, camouflaging into the grass. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of excited. We haven't adventured through the overworld in a little bit. Uh, maybe we can go east. How about that? Here's another sky village, which you know what, that could kind of be cool to set up in, but I'm worried about this fella here flying away. I did look into it and we can actually make waystones, so we should probably do that at some point. Uh, but either way, I just, I don't think it's worth setting up here. Oh, and I've reached a snowy biome here, which has also given me speed, it seems. Look at that, we got little mushroom guys here, hold on. Hi guys, what are you doing? Sporling, hi. Why are you bothering? Can't you see I'm having a spore day? Why do I feel like a fun guy in a no fun zone? Okay, really, buddy? Clearly, we got an attitude problem here, but we're gonna leave you alone. It seems like there's like a little structure here, and I'm more so checking it out out of curiosity more than anything. Uh, epic Iron Axe. Oh, okay. I mean, that's actually better than mine, so I'll take it. And oh, Epic Oak Iron Shield. Um, okay. That gives us armor and max health, which... Our current shield did not do. Wow, okay, great find. What is that? Is there anything special going on here, I wonder? Oh, and that looks to be like a wizard tower. Uh-huh, nice little home here, very cozy. Kind of reminds me of the Hobbit. Wait, 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 is that gold? Oh, <gasps> wait, look at that, I almost didn't realize. There's just like eight blocks of gold here. That's crazy. That's a whole stack, basically. Bam. Oh, more than a stack of gold. Crazy. Let's see what's going on with this tower here. There's also another Illager building over there. I actually hear monsters. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna Divine Shield and just get in here. In fact, I'm gonna use our Ice Whisperer because I feel like that's much better fitting. Oh boy, we need to break the spawner. Wow, a lot of spawners. Boom. That was a rather intensive introduction to this building. There's an anvil here. Let's take it. What is up here? This might be a contender for the base that we move into, folks. It's not perfect or anything, but it's definitely one of the cooler buildings we've seen. Nice view here. Nice little luxurious bed. Oh, look, there's a hidden chest here. <gasps> oh, that's where the actual loot was, isn't it? We got a cold eye, golden apple, fur padded chainmail upgrade. Okay, I'll mark this down as potential because this could be a nice place to stay for us. Oh, message in a bottle. <laughs> sea message. The anglerfish lures its prey with a bioluminescent appendage dangling in the dark depths. Venture into the unknown and learn about the fascinating adaptations of deep sea creatures. Oh, so there's like a deep sea portion to this mod, which I guess is pretty cool. Hello, guys. We're not going to be very friendly, are we? Oh, here's the enchanted guy. Oh yeah, he has 300 health. Okay, I'm just gonna eat a golden apple in case. Let's use our divine shield. And now we just spam damage. Oh, and we put him in the water. To be honest, I kind of want to loot him, so I might have to jump down after him. Hold on, let me sleep off the night before a bunch of crazy things spawn. And oh, another message from the bottle, which I'll pick up and we're jumping down. Because we're gonna take you out, isn't that right, fella? Yes, that is. Here, rare diamond axe, efficiency four. Wow, um, okay, works for me. Look at how many fish are here, though. Hi, guys, are you all friendly? I hope you are. Hello. <laughs> a jolly day underwater, I must say. Oh, that's a shark. Okay, don't, you're trying to attack me. You're dead, buddy. Now to get back up, um, yeah. Okay, I'll make this, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, I'm ender pearling away. What just did that to me, dude? It was another one of the enchanted mobs. That's crazy. I was about to say, I'm gonna make a vow to return here when we upgrade our gear. Now I don't know if I wanna keep it, but I mean, I guess I will. Goodness. 
Okay, I'm gonna search for a little bit longer just because I'd like to explore more options. That I found a little ocean village here. Huge ocean monument here, but I'm not going to look into that. Whoa, and look at this. This is a different structure here. I might have to mark this down then. What is that though? There's animals that are scaring me. Yeah, like look, in comparison to this temple that we found, this one is even bigger. It has this whole attachment. So huge ocean structure. Here's a little jungle temple that I'll pop into in case we can find one of the eyes. I'm actually not sure if we found the jungle eye already. We might have, but just in case. Oh boy. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, this is not good. Go away. Oh boy. Not good. I'm blinded. Oh, runic tablet in this dispenser. That's pretty random. Oh, hello. Oh, not the cave spiders. Wow, mobs are definitely getting stronger. You know what I think it is? The further out you go on the map, the stronger the mobs get. I'm 100% certain that that's the case, and it's time for me to leave before I get taken out. Okay, hold on, I took my little break. Now, with a plan, we can enter and hopefully take this jungle temple down. Golden apples are really gonna help. And then we are gonna want to swing, but preferably with our elite weapon here. Wow, this is a really good weapon. Um, I am demolishing these spiders, actually. And there's some diamonds, more diamonds. Now I have gotten some skill points, seven to be exact, so we should definitely look into that. Let's see, bonus healing power. We're gonna just rock with that. We are two points away from Path of the Crusader. Okay, um, all the adventuring has been cool, but I think we have come to a verdict, which is that I will set up in that kind of mage looking tower we found over here. Okay, here we have our new base location. It would be wise to set up a waystone here before leaving for our old base. I just need to make an Abyss Watcher, which requires Ender Pearl to flint. Let's see here, Abyss Watcher, and then Obsidian. Okay, where can we quickly find Obsidian? Lava, here we go. Thank you. Boom, I made two waystones right away, so we can easily have one for our old base as well. I can name this home. Now let's quickly carry our things over. Oh, here we are, we're home. <laughs> Okay, we can place this right over here. And we will also need to clear out this area, won't we? Yes, indeed. And I have just realized that teleporting costs levels, so we're gonna wanna do this efficiently. Now I will actually have to break this waystone and fly back to our base because I don't want to leave Heidi behind. Ooh, our gear has also been taking damage, which I didn't see. Yeah, I think it's a good time to start trying to make this new gear. And to do that, we would need an alloy forge. Why not place it on this floor? We can just remove all of this extra stuff. We can set it up in this corner. There we go. So we want to make the Maximilian armor for which we need steel and to make steel, we can just use iron. Here we go, iron. And then we need to fill that up with coal as well. Bam, okay, that should get to work making steel. And yeah, all we need is just a whole bunch of the steel stuff. That's literally it. While I'm waiting on that, I will look at my quest rewards real quick, just cause these tend to give us a lot of levels. We should also set up the enchanting table table. I'm just gonna clear everything out here. Perfect, working a level 30 enchanting table. And the steel's been smelting up really nicely, so we can already begin making this gear. Okay, we're gonna need a lot of these steel plates, so I'm just gonna make a bunch of them right off the bat, and then we can make this a bar boot. Boom, that's already the helmet. Nice. Do the same with the chest plate. And we're just gonna run through all of these. Ooh, 50% negative durability. That's really bad. We are probably gonna need to make a new one. Okay, maybe I'm gonna need more iron than I expected. While that's a 
continue smelting, I'm gonna quickly head down and grab coal and iron because I'm actually running low with how much we ended up using here. Oh, hello, giant Gekatoa. Oh, I tamed it. I don't know what its use is, to be honest, but I mean, you know, we have it here. It's, it's, it, it, it's around. Okay, back from the mining trip. It was pretty successful. There's another stack of steel, and I'm also gonna set some iron to smelt. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Not a lot better. There we go, that's pretty good. There we go, leggings, not bad at all. Boots, whoa, we got them with legendary, which actually makes them a lot better than I thought they would be. 2.8 armor toughness, plus four health, 30% bonus durability, pretty good. And folks, if we put this full set on, we should look pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm ready. Oh my goodness. Now I do need to enchant this gear. That's what would actually complete it. And this time I am not going to settle for anything less than protection four. Boom. Okay. That's all right. You know what? I am realizing the helmet having negative 25% durability is probably one of the worst things that can happen to us. So I'll make another one that I'll enchant and maybe we can combine the two. Helmets are the fastest piece of gear to break as is. Ooh, we got an epic one. That's a lot better. 2.8 armor toughness on this piece as well. Great. Protection for chest plate. Okay. And we are gonna have to head back to the nether to get more levels. Oh, hello. Oh my God. What is this? Chupacabra? Where did it come from? That's kind of disgusting. That does give me an idea though. We could take some of these guys out for some levels because I want to see what's going on in this tower and clear it out a bit if possible. Take that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. I'm going to use my hammer, get divine shield, and we are going to take these guys out with our spells. Not gonna lie, folks, the healing is really not powerful at all. I'm not sure if we have any way to make it stronger. Even though I use skill points, it still seems to not work well. Yeah, maybe we need to use like the holy wand that we got earlier or something. I think I remember how to make it. We just need gold and iron, right? So boom, boom, holy wand. Okay, hold on, let me see. So if I right click this, it heals me for one heart. Mm, okay, mediocre. Let me see if we have anything else. Holy staff. I think we should test this out because it has more healing power. Here we go. Holy staff. What's the healing on this? Okay, two hearts. And it's pretty quick. It's just we can only use it once. And we do get divine protection with this one. Anyways, uh, we should get levels. We just need to get obsidian. But I can do that by approaching a nearby pool of lava. <laughs> Bam. Perfect. Hello again. Oh, hello again. I know what that is. It's a friendly creature, believe it or not, but uh, you don't want to run into it. It'll, it'll literally blow up. Anyways, uh, I'm going to get to mining for some levels. Oh, no. So one of these Hexblade Magisters have spawned, which means that I need to trade them something or they're going to try to kill me. Great, 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 great. I can't make any of these spell blades, can I? Actually, maybe I can. And to get uh, this guy off my case, it might be worth it. So let me quickly try to head home in time. I don't know if uh, he'll follow me through the nether. Oh, it looks like he will. We're not powerful enough to take this guy on yet. So what we're going to do is quickly hopefully make this item for him and he'll leave us alone for now oh wait uh, i have a spell blade i saved myself good magister's approval good 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 your patronage has saved you for now perfect okay back to mining for xp we go Protection four and breaking three, amazing. Protection four, ooh, an amazing helmet, wow, okay. That's good, we'll replace the other helmet with that one. And then we just need to enchant our leggings and maybe we'll also make a better chest plate. We'll see, we'll see where life takes us. Oh, hello, what are you? <laughs> we got a little hedgehog here. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh man. 
<laughs> That's cute. Okay, uh, let's go back and get more levels. Mechanical short bow, eight projectile damage, and pretty good perks all around. And it has a very fast pull time. I think I like it more than this royal longbow, to be honest. So we are going to take it. Let's put the short bow to use as I'm getting plagued by these wither things. Oh, one of them dropped a wither skeleton skull. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Leggings. Protection 4, Acrobat 2. That's okay, nothing amazing. And then we did want to try to get a better chest plate. Let's try to make another one here. Bam. Whoa, plus 2 armor, plus 1 armor toughness, negative 5% speed. I will take that trade any day of the week. So let's enchant this piece. That's, uh, wow, that's really good. Death Barter 3. Oh, um, I ended up losing it. I forgot about that. Yeah, we want that. And Acrobat 2, that's a weird enchantment. But okay, that's looking pretty decent, folks. I think we're going to want to combine the two chest plates. So we have a Protection 4, Death Barter 3 one. Boom, we got the new chest plate. And we're looking pretty kitted out, folks. I can make some more golden apples. Boom. And I mean, it would seem to me that uh, we're kind of ready to head into this castle that I said I would approach once we upgraded our gear. I'm a little bit nervous about that. And the only thing that's really holding me back is a lack of food. I see some hay bales there though, so let's grab those. Okay, well, that gives us some food, which will last us for a while, but uh, we're gonna need to go out and find food soon, I guess. Hey, I'm gonna need you to go away, sir. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna take all of you out. Just, just you give me a moment. Goodbye. Don't love the bad omen. It is what it is. You know what? Can I find a cow somewhere? Cows, where you at? Oh, there we go. Wait, that's a yellow cow. Ooh, let me drink some milk. My favorite drink. There we go, and I'm good to go. Anyways, we had the mission of heading into the castle. Oh, and before we head in, we should make use of any points we have left, which we do. We are able to access the Path of the Crusader. Signature ability, Heaven Smith's Call. Call down an anvil from the heavens to crush your foes. Signature ability, Consecration. You consecrate the ground beneath your feet, dealing damage to enemies while healing allies. Sacred Onslaught. If blocking during the charge, you deal damage based on your armor value and knock back enemies. I kind of like consecration here because it gives us a way to heal. I'm curious how powerful it'll be, but we don't have any points left yet, so we are going to have to wait on that. Yeah, hello, Vindicator. Now, Vindicators are the scariest part. Oh, get, get Yetied on. Get Yetied on. I just remembered my ability. Yeah, Vindicators are the scariest part of this because of how much damage they can do in such a quick period of time. My boots are already kind of starting to break. Fortunately, we're close to home here, so we can easily return anytime. I'm gonna sleep off the night, and let's see what we can find inside of here. Oh boy, there's the Vindicator. Yep, they can come from anywhere. And they're dropping emeralds, which is actually a beautiful thing for us because that means we're going to be able to use death barter. Chest here, gas tears, okay, could be useful. And a bunch of nether supplies. <laughs> Got a little rainbow room. Uh, dwarf fortress, main theme. Okay, that's cool. But we don't, we don't want to get copyright striked, okay? No, no. I'll take the disc though. Okay, with Vindicators, we don't use Smite. We just do this. Just attack normally. There we go. Beautiful. And chest here. Smite 4, Replenish 3, Protection 3. Not a bad book at all. Oh my goodness. We're just going to take him out from here because that's a little bit scary. And we got a couple emerald blocks here, which I will definitely take. A gold set of armor. Another one. We don't need those. Nice. And ooh, a legendary iron helmet, although we don't need it. Still cool. Oh, hello. Goodbye to you, sir. Full room of blocks of coal here, which uh, I'll grab, I guess. Why not? Cake. Huh, how nice is that? Oh, I just saw an enchanted mob. Oh, this is the one. Okay, we're good. We're good. 
There we go. Oh, we dropped a diamond pickaxe. Yeah, one really good thing is the amount of emeralds we're getting from doing this. That is amazing for us. And a bunch of hay, which you know what? I was just talking about how badly we need food. There we go. Here's more hay. Thank you. Oh, June beetle. So sorry. We cleared out uh, pretty much the full castle. So that went a lot better than I thought it would. I think at this point, I'm definitely comfortable with trying to locate some of the more so end game bosses, which is very risky, but I think that's the best next step we can take. Now I can repair all of our gear. There we go. We have one point and we almost have another one. So I can get one heart and then next we'll be able to get consecration. Uh, we also have four points here. So what do we want to use that on? Heavy armor mastery. While your armor value is above 15, you have a chance to gain strength when hit. That's pretty good. I think we should get that. We can do the heart, melee damage, melee damage and we'll get here shortly. Now, in order to progress, it looks like we have to complete each chapter. Otherwise, the different quests will be locked. For example, if we wanna fight the old champion's remains boss, it's locked until we complete that, that, and then this is locked until we complete chapter one. So we need to defeat four more witches. That's one of our quests. We need to find a village, which I feel like we've done, but uh, maybe we haven't. And then the green giant, we need to throw a strength potion on a zombie and i'm guessing that's gonna summon a giant zombie boss so let us get to brewing some splash strength potions i do need a piece of gunpowder so let me get one really quickly oh here we go an orc look at this are you kidding me he stole my item come here oh got him goodness gracious there we go two gunpowder oh goodness that's all i needed i'm sleeping off the night i don't care so much better so much better Okay, let's uh, brew these potions up, and there we go. Now we need to find a zombie, um, which I could technically do underground. I don't know how spawning a giant zombie underground would uh, work, though. Might be kind of funny. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, there he is. Our plan is working. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, 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 no. What? Oh my god. Oh no. No, he's gonna kill my pet. No, no, Heidi. No, 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 no. Okay. Get him. Heidi, why are you following him? Heidi's attacking him. Okay. Oh, this is bad. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. I think Heidi's gonna die. Did Heidi die? No. 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 Oh, I'm so upset. You're dead. I hate you. Good. Good. That's pretty sad. We just lost Heidi. That was not the plan at all. So hopefully we'll be able to find, you know, a reincarnation of Heidi or something. Maybe a new mount. You know what? I'm gonna make a gravestone. Here we go. We'll put it right here. Here lies Heidi. The best mount one could ever wish for heart. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, that's sad. Okay. Well, uh, we have to move on, folks. We, I'm not gonna lie. We gotta move on. I guess let's search for a village or a swamp because either one of those will give us what we need. Okay, I mean, here's another village. Oh, first we need to make an iron sword. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, we can do that real quick. There we go. Oh, that was holding us back. And now we need to observe a villager. It has to be a regular one though. Oh, finally. Nice. There we go. I'm observing you, don't mind me. You're a weird looking monkey. Here's some food for you. What? I also need to observe a cat. Interesting. Well, there's a cat. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we need to get some fish. Hold on. Oh, man, I can't feed it because of the grass. No! Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. There we go, quest done. And then, yeah, gotcha. There we go, we have a cat pet now, nice. Now, I believe the next thing we should do is actually make a nature's compass because this will help us in finding a swamp biome since it just lets you find any biome you want. So let's go, cat. I'll name you Lucy because it reminds me of a cat we once had. Those of you who watched my Better Minecraft series would understand. Oh, and I'm not sure where Lucy went. Uh, she kind of stopped following me. Bam, compass and nature's compass. There we go. And with this, yeah, we can select anything we want. So if I type in swamp and we just press regular swamp, 
there's one <laughs> 5,000 blocks away, which is very far. Oh, how I miss Heidi already. Oh, no. Oh, and before we head out, I did have one idea, which I'm curious if it'll work. If we make another one of these Abyss Watchers, does it work? as a waystone. Yes, it does. So now we can teleport home from wherever we want. I never do this, but I recently saw it somewhere. So that's a great thing to do. I have another question, which is if this compass works in the nether. Well, either way, actually, I just uh, used a nether portal calculator and I know exactly where we need to go. So I'm gonna grab obsidian and then we can just quickly travel through the nether to the location we wanna go. Here we go, obsidian, you are mine. Okay, got the obsidian. And before I forget, I need to quickly grab healing runes and a flint and steel as well. Boom, two stacks of healing runes and some to spare, which is definitely enough because I basically only use them for the divine protection. Okay, into the nether we go. So the compass technically works. Oh boy, I am so slow in the nether, it's crazy. I can't really tell what's going on with the compass here. I don't know if we can actually trust it. So I'm just gonna go to the coordinates I know are legitimate. Okay, so theoretically, right about here should be the perfect spot to set our portal. I'm hoping this works. Uh, clearly, there are no guarantees in this pack with anything. So let's see what happens. There we go. Flint and steel. And let's see what awaits us on the other side. Hello. Yeah, it seems like this took us just about where we need to go. Hold on, let me check the compass. Yeah, we're pretty close. Oh, look at that, there's stingrays in the water. They look really cool. <laughs> okay, here we got the swamp. Beautiful, we made it. Also, I just turned off FOV effects just to see how it feels, since a lot of the time we're getting slowed randomly and it's affecting us, uh, which I don't like. Now, optimally, we'd want to find like a little witch hut. That would be great. And what is this here? There might be some witches in here. Let's have a look. Mm, no, <laughs> no, there are not. Although there's another structure up ahead this way. Let's see what it is. Bewitched. Okay, well, <laughs> that points to there being witches. And I hear witches. Oh, yes. Hello. <laughs> One of them dropped their cackling broom. Sweep your enemies off their feet with the cackling broom. How does this work? I am quite intrigued, I must say. Take that. Oh, it's just a normal attack. That's pretty funny, though. <laughs> oh, it got me poisoned. Are you kidding me? Oh, what is that? Stormbringer. Unique effect, shock deflect. If you hold right click, focus energy to a single point of your blade, allowing you to momentarily block incoming attacks. When successfully timing this ability with an enemy melee swing, you will perform a parry, dealing damage and launching your opponent while also reducing the ability cooldown. Whoa, well, boom, let's get that achievement. That's a brand new weapon. It does seem like the damage is much lower than our other weapons. It looks really cool though. Like, look at this thing. Oh, beautiful. Hey, witches aren't exactly the best type of mob to test this out against, but I mean, you take what you can, right? Anyways, we'll keep that with us. And that uh, parry ability might really come in handy with uh, some more difficult bosses. We'll see. Goodbye. And I mean, that should be the witch quest complete. It is beautiful. Now we just have the man's best friend, which is a wolf quest and the warden, which we need to observe. Now using the nature's compass, we should be able to find deep dark. Let's see, yes, uh, there's one 500 blocks away. Okay, um, well then we can observe the warden very soon. I don't think we're gonna fight it though. We need a better bow for that. And this might be a huge mistake, but I mean, we gotta do what we gotta do to progress. I just hope we'll be okay. And here we are. There's actually a cave opening here, which is very convenient. So let us head into the deep dark. Okay, now I am in the deep dark, but I'm not necessarily seeing Skulk. Oh, well, no, here's Skulk. It's like a purpley one though, which is interesting. Uh-huh, okay. Um, deep fish, oh boy. I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm uh, a little bit terrified. Oh god. Oh god. Um, oh god. Did I already spawn a warden? Yeah, I don't see a warden. Okay, I think it was just a warning call. 
The thing is, though, we do want to spawn a warden, so I'm throwing netherrack down in hopes of doing just that. Oh boy, I am scared. Oh, there we go. Okay, well, it's spawned. I'm a little bit petrified. It is, however, hard to look at it. Oh my god, it is cursed. Okay, hold on. How close do I have to be to it? Oh no, okay. I'm divine shielding. I'm going in. Okay, I don't know. There we go. We have to fight it in order to complete this quest. So, oh boy. I just need to literally sit here staring at it. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna eat golden apples and stare at it. Be oh, dude, this is this is quite literally an impossible task. I'm at half a heart. No, please, 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 please. That is way harder than I thought it would be. Okay, okay. Um, I think what we have to do is come in with full health here, divine shield, and just stare at it. So I'm gonna wait to get my health back up. And while, while I do this, let me quickly check. Yes, we have a point to get consecration. So I'll unlock that. I didn't use my regular skill either, so let's do that. Death Defy might actually be a good ability. It gives us some regeneration when we're really low. So there we go. We'll work towards that. I'm going to eat a golden apple. I'm going to Divine Shield. And we're just going to stare at the Warden. No, please don't move. No, pl please do not move. Oh, God. I'm, I'm in too far now. Oh my god. This is actually impossible. Please. 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 This is the worst quest known to man. Oh, it works. I need to divine shield. Very good. Heal. Okay, golden apple. Ow. Oh boy. Okay, we're running a bit. Otherwise, I may die at this rate. Um, this is bad. Oh no. Okay, I'm ender pearling. I'm ender pearling. We have to run. We have to run. 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 Two hearts. Oh my god. Not good. At least we completed the quest though. And to be honest, I would have been able to defeat the warden and still can. I just don't really want to risk it right now. Whew. Okay, I think we're good. Um, I'm testing consecration. It is actually healing us a decent amount. Not bad. Okay, that was scary, but we did it. And we shall head back home, which actually I can teleport to. Bam. Oh, it uses the eye though. I didn't know that. Okay, good to know. Let's see, just one more quest. Man's best friend, observe a wolf. So we can definitely do that one. Take bones with us. And I need to find a wolf, which would probably be easiest in a forest, right? So that's what we want to find. Let's uh, try to put our nature's compass to use here, forest. Oh boy, there's a whole lot of forests. Uh, there we go, regular forest. Oh, and there's one really close to us, perfect. Okay, here's the forest. Uh, it seems to be an extremely small one, but there's also like a taiga here, and I believe that's another spot where we can find ourselves a wolf. Oh, Lucy's following us now. Hi, Lucy. <laughs> Look at the Bert. <laughs> Whoa. What are you guys doing? Wait, was that like a mob vote mob? I, I I don't know, honestly, but it seems like a pretty cool mob. That's funny. We are in a taiga here, and that that is not a wolf. That's a slightly different creature, but uh, hopefully we can find a wolf nearby. What is this? <laughs> it's like a little villager statue. Okay. Epic chainmail chestplate. Cool. And a golden apple. You know what? Cool. Cool guy right there. Cool guy. Snowy Taiga. Yeah, this is usually right on the money for finding wolves. <laughs> we got penguins here too. Hello, guys. Uh, also a cursed looking structure. Oh, and a witch. I don't like the fact that Lucy's here with us. It's kind of scaring me. Uh, Lucy, are you okay? Aww. <laughs> Lucy was sleeping with us. That's cute. Oh, why am I getting chilly? I'm a Yeti. Why are you letting me get chilly, world? Oh, that's an Iceologer, okay. Oh boy, Lucy, Lucy, you need to sit, okay? Hold on, let me freeze this guy. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, get frozen. Goodbye. Looks like we also got another point here, so we can upgrade Consecration. Where did I leave Lucy? There you are. There's a structure here, though. 
Name tag. I'm getting chilly. Ooh, wait, totem of freezing. Equipable in the charming slot. Interesting. Let's put it on. I don't know what that does at all. Okay, well, we'll just have to find out. Now, can I unfreeze myself? Yes, I can. Thank goodness torches exist. There's some cracked stone bricks here, which we actually need for the explorer's compass. I also wonder where it leads. Let's have a quick look. Okay, sketchy area for sure. Loot chest. Mm, pretty good loot, actually. Pretty good loot. Okay. Whoa. Common watching war glaive. Unique effect omen. Chance on hit to rip the life from a target below 25% health and grant some of it as absorption to the wielder. Chance on hit to siphon the health of nearby enemies healing the wielder. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Unfortunately, the rolls on it are really bad because it's a common weapon. But no matter what, I would be very curious to use this thing. Oh, really cool weapon. That's about it, so I will head back up. And no wolf yet, but ooh, we do have a village here, which is nice because I needed food. Oh yeah. <laughs> Lucy just randomly decided to sleep. No, Lucy, uh, we have to loot the buildings. Whoa, I found another unique weapon. Look at this, Arcane Thist. Chance on hit to levitate your target. Channel your arcane energy to assault nearby enemies, lifting them into the air while dealing damage over time, then slamming them into the ground. Okay, another weapon with good perks. I wouldn't say it's anything better than what we have, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. It'd be really great if we can get something that really focuses on holy and you know being a crusader or paladin or whatever, because that would synergize well with what we're doing. Golem kit. Iron golems have always protected the villagers of the world. Uh-huh. I'm guessing this just lets us summon a golem. Okay, I'd say looting went really well. I got a stack of food, and I can move on now. So once again, try to find the wolf that we've been searching for for so long. I've lost track of Lucy again, but you know what? I don't know. I'm sure she'll come back. And if she doesn't, that's okay too. Uh, you know, she's a free cat. <gasps> Wolves! Oh my goodness. Oh, this has taken so long. Yes. Yes. Become become my pets. Okay. We got we got two wolves or twins. We'll call them Rick and Morty. No relation to the TV show. I feel great because we finally completed this quest, which has taken a long time. And with that, I believe chapter two will become unlocked. Let us return home. I'm just gonna go through the nether. Oh, and one of our wolves died. Okay. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's just what's going to happen. There we are. Okay, Morty, you have a seat right here. There we go. Okay, let's look through our quest rewards here. We've gained a Totem of Undying, which is pretty special. 20 levels, oh, more levels, uh, bananas, another right scrap, skill point, cool. Reinforced Echo Shard, XP levels. Wow, okay, so a lot of things. Uh, it looks like there's also a reward for getting a lot of different ores. We've done pretty well. We have these rewards as well, a bunch of levels. And we should be able to move on to chapter two now. Looks like we need to obtain Verglass and Moonstone. I think we've done that. Let's see, Verglass, and we need to hold Moonstone as well. So I have Verglass. I thought I had Moonstone, but I don't see any to be honest. Okay, well in that case, maybe it's a good idea to go mining for a bit and at the same time, see if we can get any more new ores. Let us quickly name Morty. Here we go, Morty. <laughs> and we will go mining for a little bit. Ooh, we got uh, more deep dark here. I don't like that at all. <laughs> I'm gonna avoid that. This cave looks crazy, by the way. It looks really cool. Kind of cinematic, you know? <laughs> oh my goodness, there's a dragon. Uh, now I know I wanted to tame one, although it's, ugh, it, it, it's, it's gonna be risky, folks. I mean, I can quickly try, and the way I can do that is by using our divine protection, and then just trying to ride this fella here. So, I don't know. Let's, let's see if we can make something happen. Oh! We're good. So far. So far we're good. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to think. I'm riding the dragon. Oh, did I tame it? I did! Oh, beautiful. Oh, the dragon just demolished that spider. That's right. Um, now, I do have a saddle for this guy already, but 
In order to really be able to use it, we are going to want to waystone it up to our base, probably. I will mark this as dragon. I don't know if it'll end up teleporting with us, but we'll see. Oh, is this it by any chance? Hold on. Moonstone. Yes. Okay, we found Moonstone. Beautiful. Now it's time for us to head back on upwards. And we do have our dragon underground here, but again, I want to have something to teleport home with. We'll be back for you, buddy, I promise. Okay, now I wonder if we'll be able to find any endermen out here, because I do still want to go back for our dragon. Oh, this enderman has 100 health. Yeah, thank you. I'll try making a waystone and see if we can transfer the dragon over. By the way, Consecration doesn't do a lot. In fact, as you can see, it's doing nothing right now. Uh, yeah, it took me a moment to realize that, but it uh, does literally nothing. Great, right? We're gonna place one outside, and then we are going to place the other one near the dragon, and hopefully we can teleport. Aha, here we go. My dear dragon, I am back. I am back to pick you up. Okay, so we place the waystone and then we click it. And the answer is no. Okay, um, we're done with that. I can't be bothered. Now, um, our gear is not doing good, but that's okay. I'll make some new pieces. We'll also expand our very organized storage. As you know, I love organizing my storage. Yes, indeed. Okay, now what is next on our agenda here? Making a Moonstone Compass. Then we need to find an old champion's grave and defeat the old champion's remains. So that's the first boss and we can definitely take that on. But before doing that, I think we should head into the nether and try to get a bunch of gold because that way we can get a whole ton of golden apples. And I think that would really benefit us. With that being said, let me repair our gear first because it is all <laughs> not doing very good at all. Beautiful. And you know what? I need to repair my tools as well. Perfect. And you know what? <laughs> While we're at it, I have a bow that is not enchanted and I have 30 levels. So let's see what I can get. Power four and a bonus shot. Sure. Looks pretty decent. Let's do it. With that, folks, I'm going to quickly brew some fire resistance and then I'll be on my way. Okay. And I want to try something out. Wow. Wow. 250 health iron golem. Are you kidding me? Um, anyways, uh, with that, we should be good to head into the nether. Okay, I have no idea where our adventures will end up taking us. All we can do is just go for it. Whoa, look at- whoa, dude. This is crazy. Holy moly, what is going on? This looks sick. Anchor tree. Whoa, that's what this is. Wow, that's uh, that's quite the sight, man. I have not seen something that cool. What is this? Giant Lucis, what? It gives you Lucis Spore and Glowstone Pile. Okay, not worth anything, but cool. New skill. We've gotten a lot of skills, so let me put some to use. So, yeah, I have five. Here, we got Spellbreaker. So that causes hostile spell projectiles to explode when in close proximity to you. That's pretty good. And then... Death Defy looks pretty good, so we'll work towards that. I also have one more point in our class here. We can make it so Consecration gives us Might sometimes, which increases our damage, so why not? That way, maybe we'll actually get some use out of it. But anyways, there's something over here. Let's set a temporary waypoint. It looks interesting. And interesting it is. It's one of these temples. It's got a skull on the top. I'd be happy to check this out. I kind of wish I had a way to pearl over or something, but I don't, so it is what it is. Okay. I mean, other than the place being kind of aesthetic, um, let's see if it's got any good loot for us, especially because this version of the temple is in the nether. Usually the nether has more promising loot. It also might be a bit more dangerous. So let's be careful. Yep, okay. All right. Very cool. 
This doesn't look uh, <laughs> sketchy at all, guys. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, we got another eye. I don't know if we had one before. Maybe we did. That's still cool. But how do I get through is the question. And because I don't know the answer, <laughs> I will just mine through. This is trapped. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Got some emeralds, diamonds, and actually gold, which is the main reason I came into the nether. Okay, well, that was a cool little place to explore. We shall journey onwards. Oh, eggplant. Okay, don't... Don't step on the eggplants. And another structure over there and there. So that's a double whammy. Let's check them out. I think one's just a bastion remnant, which is perfect. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. This definitely looks like a bastion remnant. And that also means, ah! No, this is not a bastion remnant. This is a boss room. Oh. Okay, well, if we're gonna fight this thing, uh, I need to make sure we have a few things ready. First of all, we'll pop a fire resistance. And second of all, I can have my iron golem handy, which is pretty funny. And third of all, we definitely want our shield on us. That said, I think we might just want to go for it. If things get a bit too crazy, I will run out of here. That's right, folks, I will escape. I don't care. So let's go. Let's break this block, which should summon the boss. Yes. Yes. There we go. Golden apple. There we go. Golem. Now, because of our divine shield, we are in good hands. Oh my goodness. I'm chunking down this thing's health with the iron golem too. Oh, holy moly. Oh, 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 oh. That's, that's not a holy moly. Oh boy. Okay. Maybe, maybe I celebrated a little bit too soon. Okay, maybe not. Die. Die. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Shoot it. And we got it. Wow. Okay. Okay. It exploded. We're good. Woo! We are more powerful than I was thinking, to be honest. And I'm feeling good about that. So let's grab the ancient debris. I'm feeling good. And it looks like if you use an alloy forge, you can actually double your netherite, which is pretty crazy. Anyways, that was a very, very big win. And uh, I want to progress to that other structure that we saw nearby. Oh, the decaying king. Oh, that's what the structure is. I'm pretty sure it's one of the later game bosses. That's definitely towards the end of the boss chain here. Before fighting that one, we probably want to have golden apples and you know be fully ready and situated i will mark it down decaying king and it's gold which is a perfect fit but we will not approach that yet uh this is a bastion remnant right that's good oh okay i did not mean to fall here that's kind of a bad move you know when you're trying to survive kind of bad to fall in the middle of every enemy around you i must say but we're okay okay good Ah! Iron Golem, go! Help me out! Okay, good, good, good. Good thing it doesn't get mad at me when I attack it. Okay, no gold in the center here. Oh my god. It's a mutant enderman. I am not gonna mess with that thing. We're, we're not approaching that. Absolutely not. No way. And there's something else over here. I think that might be another boss, potentially. Let's have a look. I guess it's good that we're finding all of these boss structures because we can always return to them later, but I still want my gold. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my God, I didn't even take that much fall damage. Okay, uh, here we are. I've arrived at whatever this is. I don't know if this is a boss structure. It might just be like a little fortress. Honestly, not finding as much gold as I thought I would in the nether. Kind of disappointed. I really did think this would give us a great way to get golden apples, but it's not seeming like it. Yeah, we might just have to get out of the nether. Oh, I thought maybe we found gold, but no. Nope, <laughs> still not gold. Finally, home sweet home. Okay, wow, that was quite a journey. Are these guys shooting at my golem? Hey, yeah, don't be shooting at my golem. Get him. Yeah, 
Yeah! What are we gonna do about these guys? We got a problem on our hands, Golem, you know? Gotta take them out here. And taking these guys out isn't a complete waste of time because it actually gives me skill levels. So, yeah, that's nice. Okay, I did just come up with a better idea though. We might just be able to teleport down into a cave because we had our waystone down where the dragon was. Yes, perfect. Okay, let's see how mining goes. There we go, gold. Oh boy. Uh, what was that? What was that? Why did that get activated? Huh. Um, my totem of frost just got used, which is strange because I'm still at full health. To my knowledge, I never dropped down below full health. Um, okay. Well, that's interesting, I guess. Anyways, at least we found some gold here. Oh, and look what I've run into. There seems to be something here. I don't know what it is yet. Oh, it's like a ruined nether portal, which actually has some gold for us. I think I saw a gold block up here. Yes, I did. Whoa! I found a little lush kind of cave biome area. Look at these guys. Moss bloom. They look really, really, really cool. Helium Flamingo allows the wearer to swim in the air for a short period of time. Can I equip that? Oh, I can. Only one issue, I use Q as my sprint key. So, okay. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna be accidentally activating this one a lot. Uh, yeah, I might end up taking it off. That's pretty funny though. Oh, and we got a bunch of gold from here actually, nice. Bye, spiders. And golden apple, silver upgrade, okay. I don't know if we're gonna need that, but I'll take it. Lost eye, have I gotten this one before? I might uh, not have, yeah. Cool, obsidian skull. The wearer temporarily becomes immune to fire damage when hurt by fire. Could be pretty good for us just because fire is our weakness. And honestly, it's better than this flamingo thing. <laughs> Sorry, flamingo. Yeah, being around a mine shaft is great. This is probably one of the best places for gold. And it's a mutant zombie. Do we have a flint and steel with us? No, we don't. The only way you can actually kill those guys is if you have a flint and steel. Okay, well, I've engaged it, so let's just go. I feel confident enough to fight it. Okay, maybe, maybe, oh boy. Oh no, I just dropped my hammer. Okay, great. This is going swimmingly so far, wouldn't you say, folks? I thought he had 150 health and then it upgraded to 500. Wow. Now the water, honestly, saving grace here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Yep, take that, buddy. I'm I'm sitting in my hidey hole. I could care less. Got him. Okay, we got him, but now we literally need to find Flint ASAP, or else he's just going to respawn. I can't believe I don't have a Flint steel. He already respawned. Go away. Okay, okay, okay. Run. Run. Oh, we're good. Oh, my gear is about broken. We're not good. We're not good. Okay. Um, I do actually have an anvil and silver with me, right? Yes. So I can repair our gear on the fly here, which is very good for us. Not gonna lie, folks. It's looking like we need to craft a new set of armor because this is starting to get really expensive to repair. And it's also not holding up too well against uh, some of the mid-game bosses, you know? Anyways, hold on. Let me get us some flint and maybe we can still take the zombie out if he didn't recharge to full health. <laughs> Which I hope he didn't. Okay, there we go. Flint. Oh my god, I had a flint and steel the whole time. I knew it. You know, this keeps happening to me. And it's, it's, all, it's, it, it's kind of scary. I keep having the items in my inventory. Now, there's a lot of gold here. So if uh, the mutant zombie doesn't mind, I'm going to spend time doing what we came here to do, which is to mine for gold. Don't worry, folks. There will come a day where we can easily defeat a mutant zombie. We just need to work uh, towards progressing our gear a bit more. 
some kind of a structure over here, which we can go towards. Wow. Well, there's also a huge cave opening here, which means more gold. Got one of these. We cannot neglect them because, yep, they got a lot of gold in them. Let's see what is up here, though. Okay, cave spider spawners. We hate those. Break, break. No, thank you. Oh, it got me. You know, it is what it is. It was written. It was written. Uh, epic diamond sword. Interesting. And some more gold. Uh, a mimic. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This one has more health than usual, actually. Got it, though. Grappling hook. Increases experience drop by creatures. We can equip that. That's nice. Oh, yeah. That definitely works, because I just saw my XP bar go up by a lot. Ow. 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 Hold on. I'm being d demolished a bit. There we go. I just yetied ability them. Oh, my God. I just yetied them so hard. Where, where are they? Are there spawners for these guys? Because I cannot see the spawners. Oh boy, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I should be doing a few things. I should also be summoning our iron golem, to be honest. I don't know why I wasn't doing that. The really cool thing about these guys is they actually scale up in health and level the further out we go. So yeah, these guys are tanks, man. And there's also gold blocks here. Look at these guys, dude. He's just one-shotting everything. I don't even need to do anything. How beautiful is that? Yeah, get him, Iron Golem. Get him, buddy. Yeah, a bunch of golden blocks around here, which is just perfect. I need to make changes to my loadout here. I'm getting demolished. Like, are you kidding me? I got two Iron Golems protecting me, and I'm still just getting absolutely destroyed by these strays. Oh, wait, there's a second level to this. Okay, let me have a look. Hold an apple. Okay, fine. I'll go to the middle floor, too. I really don't want to, but fine. I'll do it. Oh, enchanted golden apple. So worth it. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Two more enchanted golden apples? Am I in heaven? Wow. Um, we just found three enchanted golden apples. That is by far the best find we have had in these hundred days. Okay, I'm being barraged, barraged by strays. The way that they are scaling in correspondence with their level is much crazier than most mobs. Because they are just demolishing me. And uh, yeah, everything's breaking. I think we kind of have to get out of here. Like, I keep saying I'm going to leave. I know. But I just found three enchanted golden apples. What do you expect me to do? Not try to loot every single corner of this place? Oh, boy. Look in there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We need to formulate a little bit of a plan if we're going to do this. My gear is about broken. The best thing we can do is head in with Divine Shield, break the spawners, get out, and then bow them. And I'll put in another golem. I've wasted them all, but I mean, this has been a worthy dungeon to waste them on. I'm gonna do it. They're kind of taking each other out, which is good. Their direct damage isn't a concern, it's more so the freezing. Yeah, there it goes again. But they are taking each other out, which is perfect for us. So now I should be able to bow at some of them. Oh, and my chest plate broke. Oh my god. I'm basically naked right now. My gear just all broke. Hold on. I can get a uh, chest plate here. Better than nothing, that's for sure. And I really want to loot these chests. Uh-huh. Epic chest plate. I thought we might be able to find some more enchanted golden apples. Doesn't look like it, though. Wow. Well, to say the least, that was absolutely insane. I'm going to save myself some time. And also, this will benefit us in the long run. I'm just going to waypoint out of here. Because that then gives us another teleport to mine with again. In regards to gold, I'd say we did pretty decent. I got a stack and a half of ingots and then three and a half stacks of raw gold. And the thing about raw gold is we can put that into the alloy forge and we'll be able to double our gold, I believe. Let's have a look. Okay, not double, but 1.5 times our gold because for every two, we get three. So that's nice. Now, in regards to armor, there's this hallowed armor, which looks to be very powerful. So the only question is, how do we make it? Yeah, we need raw atom tight, raw mithril, and raw or it shall come. Okay, let me see which of these ores I've actually gotten. Here we go, we got Mithril. So I think that is all we have. Um, with Mithril, we just kind of randomly found them. So it's possible it's the same for these two, but it's also possible they could be in a different dimension. 
Uh, now I think one good thing to do would be to head into the end, defeat the Ender Dragon, and maybe walk around the end for a bit. However, before we do that, um, I mean, I guess we can just stick with this gear and repair it. Although, <laughs> The issue with that is it is becoming exceedingly expensive to do so. Now, I'm also curious how many of the unique eyes of Ender do we have because that might end up playing a important role. We actually have less of these unique eyes than I thought we would. So yeah, I don't know <laughs> if we end up needing these, we are not ready to head into the end. I can make an additional one, I think. Yes, there we go. The Witch Eye, because I had the Witch Pupil from when we farmed witches, but that leaves us at a total of four, mm, five. So yeah, this is less than an ideal situation, that's for sure. Uh, I am also doing the gold here, but we might want to put an iron to get more steel so we can repair our gear, hopefully for the last time, because oof, I would love to move on to a new set of armor. And while we wait for some steel to be made, we can make golden apples with uh, some of the gold that we've collected. And we have even more than this, which is the good news. Boom, 33 golden apples total with three enchanted golden apples. That is really good. We're also gonna need some more eyes of Ender if, you know, the regular ones end up working. Oh, the cost, the cost is so high. It's killing me. But uh, okay, we barely got away with it. So, I mean, that's good. So I guess let's head into the nether to quickly collect some eyes of Ender. Oh, here we go. We got an Enderman already. I'm just gonna look at this one because he was not coming otherwise. Oh boy. Oh, and one shot. Now this would be easier if we had looting. I do not have looting though, so we're, we're just gonna have to make the best of it. Oh, two more Endermen up there. Although there are some unique types of Endermen. I'm hoping none of them are crazy overpowered. There we go. Mm, the fact that I don't have any uh, looting is actually going to make this much harder than I would like it to be. But luckily there's a whole bunch of Endermen spawning around here. After defeating uh, more than a few Endermen though, I am starting to think if it would be wise of us to first get a looting weapon and then hunt for the inner pearls we so desire. Here's the deal, if both of these Endermen drop an inner pearl, I won't get a looting weapon, okay? Let's see. And one of them dropped a pearl. So looks like I'm gonna get levels and that'll benefit us in the long run anyways. Okay, got a good amount of levels, and then I can finish that off by accepting my quest reward. And not to mention the other rewards that I got here, Fire Gauntlet, let me see. Oh, I can't equip that in addition to the Golden Hook, so I will probably just keep the Golden Hook on, but that's a cool little artifact that gives us additional fire damage. And what I think I'll do is I'll just enchant one of our kind of legendary weapons and uh, make sure that we get looting on it. Oh, boom, looting three. Skulk Smite five and knockback two. Okay, well, if we want to fight the warden again, this is the weapon to use. There we go. Okay, it worked out. And we got a lot of ender pearls from one guy, so that's great. Hello. Gotcha. Okay, 13 ender pearls, that's enough. Let's see if that actually ends up working. Okay, let's make these eyes of Ender. I already had one. And I'll also grab the unique eyes. So with that, we should just be able to head to the stronghold and see if this works out. I'm doubtful. I'm gonna go through the nether just so it's faster. Okay, right about here. And if we go a little bit lower, we should find what we need. Oh, magic metals. Ooh, storm mix. So I actually saw something about this. I'm pretty sure this ore can create pretty powerful gear. Eight armor, two magic protection, two armor toughness. So it's basically like diamond, but it adds magic protection, which is pretty cool. So if we ever need that, we know how and where to find it. Let's make our portal. Yep, 
here we are, and here is the stronghold, which I should also mark down. Let's see, let's see if we can have any luck. Nope, the side doesn't wanna be used. Great, great, okay. So, looks like we have to use these unique eyes. The good news is, I think these eyes that are already in might count as a part of the portal. I might be completely wrong on that, but theoretically, we are left with one, two, three, four, five eyes. I'm not finding anything about the end portal, unfortunately. And I guess we have to continue along the boss quest line. And even though we haven't been able to upgrade our gear, it is still functional. Uh, I'm just hoping we come up with a solution in the near future here, which honestly might just be using netherite. Yeah, that might be what we do. Now, I am actually confident in fighting the first boss, the old champion's remains, with the gear we have now, so we can do that. We have to craft a moonstone compass. <laughs> Yeah, do we have enough moon stone to make a moonstone compass? I don't know. Nope, it does not seem like we have enough, so I need to go mining, I guess. <laughs> we only need two more pieces. Oh, there we go, I found it. <laughs> All I had to do was go to our waystone. Boom, moonstone compass. With that, we can head to the old champion's remains, but before doing that, it would probably be wise to make some kind of a potion. I'm thinking strength and speed would be amazing to have, and we already have fire resistance. I will need a couple pieces of glowstone, and I also need sugar, so I need to find some of that. Look at this, what a nice morning to wake up to. Poppy fields, beautiful. Look at that, I just found a random chunk of copper blocks. I almost feel bad not to take this. I don't know if we'll ever use it, but you know what, uh, I'll take it. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I was just traveling and then I found a sea message bottle. Okay, apparently this corrupted enderman can walk on water. Great, great, great. Great, awesome. You know what? This is probably one of the better spots we could have fought this thing. Oh no, where'd it go? No, I almost took it out. Is it up there? It is. What is it doing? Okay, do I need to build up to him? You know what, the blocks of copper might come in handy. Let's go up. This is the randomest boss fight. Oh, I got him. I think I got him. Holy moly. Did he drop anything? He did, ominous pearl, unbreaking one. Is this a permanent ender pearl? Is that what it is? Or is there a certain amount of durability on it? We will find out as we use it. Um, but that was an interesting boss fight to say the least. And it was definitely unexpected. I'm still trying to find sugar cane. More specifically, sugar. There's this weird thing happening. This whole chunk of land is seemingly on a cliff. I don't know if that's a thing that happens everywhere in fantasy Minecraft. Maybe it is, and maybe that's why we haven't been finding sugarcane. Or I'm just getting really unlucky. Here we go. Just as I say that, we run into the end of this cliff and uh, find some sugarcane for ourselves. Okay, well we have sugarcane, so let's return on home. Monkey, hello! <laughs> are you having a good time? Yes, you are! That's so cute. We actually had those bananas before. It's too bad I don't have it on me. Oh, that's so cute. Why is it following me though? I don't even have anything for it. It's doing tricks. That's, that's amazing. That's incredible. Top 10 finds in this video for sure. What is that? Hello. I'm not sure if there's actually anything useful here. Hello. Oh, there's a Vindicator waiting for us here. And an Evoker. Are you kidding me? Ooh, we're powerful enough to take him out. No problem, though. That kind of feels good. Common Evocation Hat. Interesting little find. And a Totem of Undying. Beautiful. There's another chest over there, which we can try to grab. And you know what? It's a good time to test out this pearl that we got. Whoa. 
Alone the pearl is powerless. Merge it with... We need to merge it with blaze powder or something. Why am I getting shot at? Can you stop? Guys, seriously. Can you... Why? Just go away. Oh my goodness. It's an enchanted skeleton. Okay, hold on. We have to handle this. Oh, good. Oh my god. I knocked that skeleton back so far. It will never see the light of day again. Hold on. Let's read this again real quick. Merge it with blaze powder or a gold block in a smithing table. Okay. Loot chest. Golden apple. Interesting statue here. I have no idea what this is for. Pretty sketchy building, I would say. <laughs> Golden apples and a smithing template. Okay, we're back. Okay, so we need to get uh, glowstone as well, but before I do that, let's quickly try to combine our ominous pearl with a gold block. Golden block and ominous pearl gold. Whoa. Um, okay, I mean, it makes some kind of a block. Mysterious power. Forge a command block in a smithing table with an ominous pearl and a gold block. Oh, this is a command block? <laughs> what is going on? I just got an item that I can't use. Oh, okay, I'm confused. We're, we, do we just, I guess we have like an unobtainable item. That's, that's all it is. Okay, let's grab glowstone. Hey. Boom, potions brewed up. Okay, at this point it would seem that we are ready to travel to the old champion's remains. So, I guess it's time to head on over. Oh, look at that, we got a blue nether portal here. That's pretty cool, I wonder if the blue obsidian can actually work for a real portal? We're not gonna test that though. Why? I'm too lazy. Maybe running all the way here was a bad idea. I'm realizing now how far away it was. I did not realize that before. At this point, I'll probably just finish off my trip, but then heading back, um, definitely better to do it through the nether. I'm gonna get a, ourselves a horse here just to finish up our travels. Yeah, there we go. This will speed us up a little bit. Wow, what a long journey. I did not expect this, holy moly. It's basically taken me two whole days. Here we go, old champion's remains. Okay, now to find the actual place where the old champion's remains are. I don't know what that spot is exactly. I see there's something over there. I don't think that's the right structure, neither do I think that is. Maybe I can mine closer towards the waypoint here, although this waypoint was kind of randomly made. Like, I don't know exactly where the spot is. Um, although, I guess I do have an idea, which is the compass, right? Technically, that might take me there. It seemed like we're right above it here or below it. So I'm going to mine upwards first and then I'll mine downwards and we'll see if it leads us to where we need to go. Oh, an old champion's grave. Oh, there it is. I see it on the map. Okay. So we've actually found it, which means that a boss lingers right around the corner. Let's make sure that we are prepared. I have my potions. I have my golden apples. I think all that's left for us to do is to mine into this grave and to take on the boss. And I'm going to need our hammer for the divine protection for sure. Drink the potions, golden apple, and I'm going to keep our hammer with us. I will shield and let's go for it. Hello. Oh boy. Here we go. Oh my God. I'm destroying this guy. Hold on. I feel bad almost. He can't even hit me. I'll let you get one hit off, buddy. Get one hit. Come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. This guy got destroyed. Oh, okay. I forgot about this part. There's another. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I did forget about this part. I cannot lie to you. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, this one actually does a lot of damage. We have to take it out. Where is it? Okay, golden apple. I cannot. Oh, no, 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 Take that. Die, please. Go away. Oh, God. How many of you are there? Where's the real one? Got him, I think. I think we got him. Like, multiple versions of him spawned. Oh, okay. Hold on. A few things dropped here. 
Lord Soul. The last will of the old champion resides in the soul. Essence of eventide. You feel a strong sense of longing as if it desperately wants to return to something. Okay. Wow. We got him. Good. That progresses us further. And also, why do I still have wither on me? Um, I don't like that. Ooh, look at that. Dark moon longbow you can craft using this essence. Fire is moonlight arrows that deal purely magic damage and pierce targets. You can do an arrow storm. Full speed is reduced for this weapon by negative five. Oh, okay. Nevertheless, that's probably a better bow than what we have. And then here we have this weapon called Droger. Massive attack damage during the night. Okay. Yeah, like right now it has 10 attack damage, I guess, because it's nighttime. So that's pretty good. But I'd rather have a weapon that's not limited to only being good during one part of the day, you know? Well, now that we've taken that boss out, we kind of can begin our journey of taking these endgame bosses out. My only concern, again, is with the armor, but we might just be able to make a new set of the same stuff, and that'll kind of hold us over for now. If not, we just make another right set. In fact, that's what we'll probably do. Okay, I'm gonna go home through a portal. Whoa, hello, Withered Demon. Is it gonna try to attack me? It doesn't look like it is. Oh, it is. Okay, you can die. You're dead. You're done, buddy. That thing looked sick. Demon Heart. Whoa, it has an insane amount of saturation. Look at this. At first contact, the ancient race befriended the demons, knowing only in secret how powerful the Demon Heart truly was. 600% saturation. You can smelt it into a Molten Demon Heart, which then you can make Demonite Chunks with, which then you can make Crimson Ingots with, which then <laughs> you can make some weapons with. There's also this Bloodthirster. Heal every hit if item is not on cooldown. At full health, gain a shield instead of heal. Whoa, I kind of like this weapon. Well, we should try to get more of those souls. The, the weapons that uh, I just saw there were pretty sick, especially the one that heals you. The only issue is I completely ran into that mob by chance, not on purpose. So I don't know how hard it is to find them, but uh, we'll keep an eye out, I guess. Okay, now that we've defeated the old champion's remains, let's have a look here. Uh, the next part is finding the Cathedral of Resurrection. And it looks like to summon the returning knight, we need to click on an old moon altar with a lost soul. And you get that by smelting down soul sand. So first things first, we want to find a Cathedral of Resurrection. And to find that, we can use an Explorer's Compass, which, ooh, I had most of the materials for, but not cobwebs. So I might need to get like silk touch shears, as silly as that is, so that uh, we can go ahead and grab some for ourselves. So we can't actually enchant the shears directly, so we need to get a book and get silk touch on that. Hopefully we can get lucky. And I've already run out of lapis. <laughs> okay, well... It looks like getting this compass is gonna be a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. But uh, we do have our waystone into the mines and we should be able to get the lapis fast enough, hopefully. Oh, I found orichalcum. So this is the ore that we needed for the upgrade. That's actually pretty cool that we found that. I might even be seeing more, hold on. If that's the case, we would only need one more ore. Oh, hello, it's a Mimic. Good old Mimic. Goodbye. Steadfast Spikes. Grants immunity to knockback. Interesting. I'll put them on. There's more of that ore that we found. This is good, folks. This is, uh, this is really good. Well, this Lapis mining trip has turned into a completely other type of mining trip, and I am cool with that. Oh boy, this guy's come here. Hello. Um, we don't really want to deal with him, so I might just end up uh, crafting the thing that he wants. I have two minutes and 30 seconds to do it, so we better decide fast. I guess let's head back and get the offering that we need to prevent ourselves from getting hexed. There we go, arcane spell blade. So if we need to give an offering, we've got one. Oh, 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 no. Um, okay, they spawned inside my house. Uh, okay, wait, I have an idea. I have a blizzard ability. I don't know if this is actually attacking anybody. Okay. 
How about this? Oh, no. My Yeti ability worked on my dog. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay. I don't know what's going on, guys. Honestly, um, I think they left. I think we're good. I don't know. The attack happened, but I wasn't in my base. So we kind of we kind of cheesed it, but I, I'm good with that. Oh, hello, Morty. Good thing Morty didn't suffer from our Yeti ability. Anyways, back to trying to get a simple Silk Touch enchantment. I'm not having luck with finding Silk Touch just yet. I don't know if I'll have more luck or what, but I'm gonna try this for a bit more. I am finding no luck from enchanting here. Okay, hold on. Maybe I'm not being the smartest. Let me find a piece of cobweb and let's see if we can, you know, either shear it or use a silk touch pickaxe on it. Before that though, we need to repair our gear once again. It is mightily suffering, one might say. And so are my levels. Holy moly, this is expensive. Oh, I can't even repair it. Yeah, the moment has arrived, folks. The moment has arrived. We need to switch off of this armor. <laughs> and I'm thinking that getting a diamond set and upgrading it to netherite is a great option. Before we do that, though, let me see if I can quickly find some cobwebs. Okay, I know I've seen cobwebs in the past, but I'm not finding any right now. Uh, maybe below home we have one? I don't know. Uh, it might just take a little bit of looking around. Like the graveyards, for example, that we've been finding, they could have cobwebs, right? I mean, this is such a small thing to have to do a search over, but we kind of need to. Here's this castle that uh, we have next to our base. I didn't check if it has cobwebs. I can do a little quick sweep around. I'm not actually seeing any cobwebs around here and it is gonna get dangerous. I also forgot the fact that our gear is gonna break. So yeah, we should probably get out of here if we can. It's funny, cause I know for a fact we've seen cobwebs so many times <laughs> and I just, I can't find them now. I don't know, man. Maybe there's a mine shaft down here. Let's have a look. Uh huh. It is a mine shaft. It's a very cold one with some geared up skeletons. Oh my. Here we go, though. We got cobwebs. Okay, cobweb. Yes, okay. Shears work on cobwebs. I don't know why I thought they didn't, but there we go. Let's get more than enough. I was complicating my life so much. Good thing I checked, because uh, it worked. So we can head back home. Oh, look what I found. I found another Zarp Tuck. That's what they're called. It literally just spawned right in front of my face. Oh, um, do I have a saddle on me? I actually do. So if we can quickly tame this fella, we will have a new mount to ride, finally. I was just thinking about how uh, sad it was that we lost ours previously. There we go. Boom, and yes. Oh, feels good. Okay, feels good, finally. Boom, compass and explorer's compass, bam. So if we use that, we can find anything we want, which is amazing because if we put in Cathedral of Resurrection, bam, we can find it. Although in a radius of 10,000 blocks, it says not found, which is not, uh, not, a, not a thing you wanna hear. And this is not the type of gear you want to see either. Oh my. Now I do have this set still remaining. For now, I might just have to repair this because I can't do much else. And then we will work on our new set shortly. Okie dokie. So we can find this cathedral, but we won't be ready to actually do anything with it. So I think what we should do is just run through to another portal we have in the nether, see if we can find the building around there. And if not, I mean, the search will continue. Along the way, I'll uh, also try to collect up some quartz because we need to start getting ready to make our new set of gear and convert it to netherite. Okay, here we got the other portal. Let's see if anything awaits us on the other side. Cathedral of Resurrection, still not found. Uh-oh. Okay, I did play around on another world and I was able to locate the cathedral nearby. I didn't actually go to it, but the compass showed it as available. So that's good news. Now, before we do that, I think we should do the very important task of upgrading our gear and potentially gearing up as though we're going in for a boss fight.
right, I think we will just stick with this set of armor, to be honest, even though it's not ideal because it is going to give us a way to be done everything very quickly. Whereas if we try to make a new set, we're gonna have to enchant it all and everything. I think just upgrading it to netherite is enough. Now let's see if we can do that or if we're gonna have to get some more netherite. Yeah, so we're gonna need some more, but uh, we're well on our way for a full set of armor. So it should be pretty easy to do this. Let's go mining for netherite real quick. Here we go, our first vein of ancient debris. Another one. Another one. And I've run into something here, which is like a, oh, okay. It's just a nether fortress kind of mine shaft, I think. Whoa, but there's some loot in here. Running shoes increases the wearer's movement speed while sprinting and increases wearer's step height, which is actually amazing. We definitely want that. So I'm going to replace the knockback preventing boots we had on. Oh, that's gonna be great. We really needed some movement speed. Oh, I just broke my pickaxe. Wow, um, that happened quick. Okay, well, that's my bad. I guess that signals a good time for us to head home. You know what the good news is though? Ancient debris can actually be put in and doubled in an alloy forge. Only thing is we need a level three alloy forge, um, which might be a bit difficult to get. It looks like endstone though you can use to make it. Beautiful, okay, then we just need to get some endstone, which is uh, honestly no problem. And we are right uh, near the portal that will lead us to the stronghold, actually, so we can just mine up to it. That kind of works out nicely, wouldn't you say? Through the portal we go. Okay, let's head to the stronghold. And probably I should just make a bunch more waystones, to be honest. So I'll farm up some more ender pearls. Here we are. And here we are. Now I am curious about one thing. Can we reuse the same mine twice and it'll work? No, and this I can't be placed. They got me. I thought I was being pretty clever. Wait, why did I think I had unlocked the end? Guys, I'm not the brightest. I'm not the brightest, am I? So look, we need five more eyes. That's what's gonna let us actually upgrade the alloy forge. So with that being said, we might want to prioritize getting the five other eyes we need, which I wasn't expecting to do, but that might just end up being the best progression for us. And then we'll get back to defeating the bosses. There are some ones that I know where we can get, like the rogue eye is in the jungle. The magical eye would drop from an evoker, wither eye from a wither. On Deadeye, you can craft this one and it doesn't even look too hard to do. I just don't know where to get this undead soul. Um, so yeah, basically there's a few that I know where to get. Like even that cursed eye, I know we can find in the nether. So while I didn't really want to do it, I think what we need to do is kind of go on an eye collection trip. Hopefully we can do this quickly and to optimize it, what I'm gonna do is use our explorer's compass. And that way, for example, we can search up jungle temple, 2,500 blocks away. Let's go. Okay, now as I'm flying here, I have been looking through some other eyes that we need just so I have reference of what else we should be keeping an eye out for. There's also a lot of kind of ocean related eyes. Like we have the exotic eye that we need basically two conduits for. And then I believe the black eye is also found in treasure chests. So that would be another one from the sea. And then there's also the guardian eye. So yeah, that's already three eyes related to the sea and we need five total. So then if we can locate a shipwreck for for example, that would be pretty good for us. Uh, shipwreck, normal, and it looks like there's one close by. And then we can just locate the buried treasure, rinse and repeat that, and then we'll uh, be able to get a lot of eyes. And then fighting the guardian itself is gonna be probably a bit of a challenge, but if we get water breathing and a bunch of golden apples, I think we will be okay. And boom, shipwreck. With a bunch of monsters nearby, I don't like that. Hello, coin pouches and iron, we don't want that. I'm a simpleton trying to simply find a buried treasure map chest. Yes, here we go. It seems like we are actually already near the treasure, which is beautiful, so let's get our mount and get to the treasure itself. Yes, I got it, okay. Let's fly over to where we need to be. And we should be here. Just mine around a little bit. 
Aha, here we go. Very close to the surface, nice and easy. Hey. Okay. Uh, are you okay, buddy? Do you oh, you eat golden apples. Okay, you love that. Good, I guess. <laughs> uh, here we go. Heart of the sea. We got a squid plushie. Look at this. <laughs> Equipable in the hat slot. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know, I'm done with that. I got a random squid on my head now. Okay, so that's one heart of the sea down. We're going to need a second one. And we're going to need nautilus shells. And you know what? We might be able to find something in a structure like this as well. Let me just boat over, hopefully. Okay, let's see what we got going on in this little structure here. Hello, prismarine. Okay, that could be good. We might need some of these materials. There's also like these random little shipwrecks that uh, we can be looking into every now and then. Like we got some unique fish and enchanted books it looks like. Whoa, look at this. This is like a spiky biome. Yeah, there's like spikes all over. Whoa, that is not a place you want to step into at all. I'm gonna put our Zarp Tuck over on the land here. And the shipwreck should be below us. Yes, it is. What do we got? Flippers, improves agility in water. Huh, that's fun. I'll take those. That's actually gonna have some use for us. And another golem kit. I do like these. They're pretty powerful. Um, that's cool loot and all. Is there any buried treasure map chest? Does not seem like there is. We got a little pillager fortress. I don't know if we got the eye from one of these. I think we have, but just in case, I will quickly check this out. A cloud in a bottle allows the wearer to double jump. Ooh, that's good. Currently we have a fire resistance one, but it hasn't been working too well. So <laughs> I will equip that. My reaction was pretty funny, but you know what? It's a good item to get. Okay, all of you can die. Okay, uh, nothing else here it seems. Still, that's pretty good loot to pick up. Here we have a larger ship, which isn't even a shipwreck, it's a ship, folks. And there's an animal on top of there, but uh, we should definitely approach that. Oh yeah, now I can double jump. Look at this. This is pretty sick. I do miss our paladin ability, by the way, so I'm going to go back to using our hammer for a bit. I do think it has so many advantages. Hello, Drake. Yeah, and we can check these chests out. A bunch of dead fish in them, which is pretty funny. Oh, and a vindicator. Okay, I'm going to be a dead fish if I don't pay attention, apparently. Yeah, I will say our double jump is actually very, very helpful. And we do have some stuff in here. Hold on, though. <laughs> I'm still being attacked. And this is really making me want to get some holy armor. I think we will do it because, man, oh, man, if we could heal more from all of our abilities, that would be so good. Common prior vestment. Whoa. Um, it gives you a percentage of healing power. We don't really want a percentage, though. We need direct healing power. Look at this, though. Diamond holy staff. Whoa. Um, I didn't really think into it, but uh, there are upgrades. Oh, here we go. Crusader boots. I think that's what we would most likely want here. Crusader seems to be some of the best gear we can do. Hello, villagers. I will free you, although I'm not sure if you will end up surviving anyways. Oh, and I started a raid. I was worried that would happen. Okay, I'm trying to loot this and get out because there's Nautilus shells, which are exactly what we need. Also some emeralds, which don't hurt us at all. There's our Zarp Tuck. Go, go, go. Oh, and our double jump is going to be useful in trying to catch <laughs> our mount because uh, I really struggle with that. Oh, but the double jump is so helpful. Beautiful. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, folks. I I'm kind of feeling tempted to just go into this ocean monument and get the guardian eye. I'm gonna go for it. This might be a dumb idea, but I'm doing it, okay? And you know what I can do while we're here is put on our diving slippers. There we go. That should help us out a little bit. Here we go. I think I found the entrance. Will this actually have an elder guardian in it? I don't know, but what is that? Why is there a trident there? Oh, well, I just got the trident, so that's cool. Oh, I'm also taking a lot of damage. Not so cool. Okay, I kind of got through here. Um, I am taking damage, but again, I should be able to do this and that'll give me replenished breathing. Oh, here we go, Elder Guardian. Let's go. I'm gonna golden apple, because uh, oh, this fella's actually doing damage to me. Okay, he's doing a little bit more damage than I thought he would, but it's okay, it's okay. Nothing we can't <gasps> deal with, nothing we can't deal with. Right, 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 enchanted golden apple, okay. 
Okay, go, go. Okay, um, I did not think it would be this hard. Okay, go, go, die, die, yes. Did he drop the eye? Part of the C, but he didn't drop an eye, did he? Okay, my gear is about broken. Uh-oh, okay, move, move, move. I have a waystone on me, so we can teleport back home. Okay, that was not ideal because we did not get the eye, meaning either they don't drop it or what I think is that we just have to defeat another one. Again, I can't do that until my gear is repaired, so I'm just gonna teleport back home from here. <laughs> Wrong teleport. There we go. Now, the good news is we got our second heart of the sea, I guess. So we don't need any more of those. And to craft the conduits, we just need more Nautilus shells. Let us repair all of our gear. Look at this. We have 10 points out of 10. In that case, we will get Death Defy. Now we will have increased regeneration when we are at low health. Okay, let's see. We also actually have 10 points for the Crusader class. Let's just get all of these, I guess, because it doesn't seem like I can get these two. So we might be done with points in this class here. In that case, let's just finish our points here. I wouldn't mind more movement speed, so I'll actually invest into this. Why not? That looks great for us. I'm gonna get more movement speed here, and then I can get Goliath. When falling long distances, gain Earthshaker, causes you to damage and knock back surrounding enemies when landing on the ground. Okay. So that's the final point spent. We, I think, can unlock three more actually, but that's it. And then here, I don't even think we can use anymore. So that's that. But anyways, let us fight this other Elder Guardian, hopefully. Aha, here we go. There we go, Divine Protection, and let's go for it. There we go, got it. Did it drop its eye? No, it did not. It did not drop its eye. And that's a little bit concerning. There's a chest here, did I loot this? No, I didn't. Boom, a bunch of Nautilus shells, beautiful. Oh, oh boy, this is the enchanted guardian. 400 health, stronger than an actual elder guardian. We gotta take this fella out, don't we? Yeah, you're done, pal. And you're gone. I dropped an efficiency five diamond pickaxe. You know what? That's a good way to make up for the pickaxe I broke. Let's get out of this temple and continue on. Maybe find another one or find a jungle temple, for example. And we can also access this little vault chest here, which I'm doing gladly. Increases where's attack speed by 40%. Um, this is a pretty crazy hand relic because let me just test this. Look at how fast we can attack with our hammer now. Are you kidding me? Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, without it, look how slow I am. Oh my goodness. Whoa, there's this huge jungle temple here. Wow, this is massive. Okay, Um, I mean, first of all, there are a bunch of blocks of emeralds all around this place. And man, my inventory is getting way too full. Not much I can do about that. What is going on in this temple, though, is really the question that I'm asking. I got a bunch of levers. I don't know if this is like a puzzle. I don't know. I'm flicking all the levers down. It's not really doing anything. There is an underground part, though. Oh, oh, okay. And I was about to say it's going to be trapped, and it definitely is trapped. There's another trap right there. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, boy. And it's a trap chest, it seems. Oh, okay. Apparently a bunch of husks are now falling on me. Okay, nothing in that chest. Oh, there's something below us though. Hello. <gasps> Hello, there's a bunch of loot here. Amethyst shards, which are actually something we need. Oh, look at these trees. They're eucalyptus trees, I'm pretty sure. They look really cool. I don't know if I've checked out this one. Oh, okay. There's traps everywhere, so you really gotta watch out here. I know for certain there's uh, like a vault room. This might be it even. Why is that chest bloody? That's pretty suspicious. Art of the sea, okay, I mean, there we go. Oh, yes, I see one of the eyes. Okay, hold on. Oh, black eye, okay, perfect. So we've got the black eye now, and that adds to the five that we need to find in total. I was not expecting to find that one here, but we did. Okay, I'll say that uh, we still have adventuring to do, but that gives me a little bit of hope. Here's another pillager camp. 
These could have the eye we're looking for. Mm-hmm, <laughs> the corrupted eye. Have I gotten this? I think I have. Ooh, maybe I haven't, because it gave me a reward? Anything else in here? Gong of weakening. This actually gives weakness to nearby enemies. Okay, wow, nice. So if that really is a new eye, then what? That means we have to get three more eyes? One of them we can craft with the conduits. Another one we can get from the wither, and then we need to find one more to fill in that space. What is this that spawned here? I can't tell. Hold on, let's have a look. This is a pretty cool little dungeon here. Villager fossil body, whoa. I mean, I'm sure that item doesn't have any actual use, but it uh, kind of looks interesting. A haunting reminder of a village lost in time, two out of two. So maybe there's a one out of one, uh-huh. Totem of Undying, wow, that's a good item to find here. Artifact shards, huh. Unidentified artifact, if you get nine of them and then I'm guessing you right click that and it gives you something, I don't know. I must say the quest to find the 12 eyes is a very long one indeed, but I feel like we're slowly progressing closer and closer to finding all of them. I'm thinking of my options. I think one of them is going ahead and crafting the exotic eye right now. And then after that, going to the nether to try to find the Cursed Eye, which I know we definitely can. And finally fight the Wither for the Wither Eye. I think that'll give us the last three that we need. And if we need one more, we can get the Guardian Eye as well. Right now, let me quickly hopefully get Coral. I think that place has Coral right there. So that's where we want to head to. I'll set a temporary waypoint. Here we go. I'm seeing some Coral. Fire Coral. Here we go. That's one that we need. Horn coral, I think we need that one as well. Tube coral, that's another one. And bubble coral, there we go. That's the fourth one. And with that, we should be good to head home. If we take our two heart of the seas and wrap them, we'll get two conduits. And then with those, we just need two glow ink sacks, which I have, as well as an eye of ender. And I have that as well. And bam, exotic eye, cool, cool. Now, let us head into the nether so that we can get the Cursed Eye. Now I can check if we can find the Cursed Eye in this fortress, for example, but I'm pretty sure most of the time it can be found in Bastion Remnants. Cross Necklace increases length of invincibility after taking damage, okay. While we don't have any Paladin Armor, that's actually probably better than our Necklace. Night Vision Goggles might actually be nice. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. Look at this. More loot, nether eye again, but we don't need that. Okay, I'm not finding anything else in this nether fortress, so I'm going to move on. Okay, we got something going on here. <gasps> okay, that double jump was very scary, I'm not gonna lie. This looks like another one of the Blaze uh, King's towers. And I'm not really interested in fighting the Blaze King again, but here is a Bastion Remnant, I think, yeah. It's like two together, basically. Would you look at that? I'm cool with it. Nothing too useful. Nope, still no eye, that's okay. We're gonna have to keep searching. My goodness, we are powerful. Our gear, though, is starting to break down. Okay, here's another. Bastion Remnant of Sorts, which uh, is a bit dangerous. There's piglin brutes everywhere. And I just realized that our boots broke. Oh no. I will check this last chest and then we'll be forced to head out of here, unfortunately. Uh -huh, nothing there. Okay, well, I mean, like I said, we gotta leave now because my gear is all busted up. I might just waystone back home to make our lives 10 times easier. Yes. Oh, I got an undead soul. I have no idea where I got it from, but I got one. Which means we might be able to craft the eye right away. Um, let's see, guest here. We have a bone, we have an undead soul. We need rotten flesh, I definitely have that. And then there's one more item being a phantom membrane, which I also collected in case we got the undead soul. Wow, so that means we can create an undead eye. There we go, undead eye. Let's just stack the eyes we currently have. One, two, three. Theoretically, that's three new eyes. Didn't I? Oh yeah, four. Uh, so don't we just need one more eye by that logic? And what we might be able to do then is just fight the wither 
I have, let's see, two skulls. I might even have three. Yes, I have three wither skeleton skulls. I'm gonna have to enchant a new set of boots. Protection four. Okay, the boots themselves, not too great, but you know what? At this point, we're taking what we can get. And I might even enchant some new pieces of gear just because it's so costly to repair them at a certain point that uh, we need to replace it. Protection for helmet. Okay, and thorns with negative 25% durability. That's gonna break very quickly, but that's a-okay. We can actually combine it with our old helmet, maybe. Magic protection for, okay, burning three. Okay, dokie, I got some new gear. Repair. Ooh, that chest plate is getting very costly. But I can probably get some more levels from our quest rewards, which I haven't collected in quite a while. Oh yeah. You know what I can actually do is I'll take all the levels, I'll enchant, and then I will repair. I'm gonna enchant some new pieces of gear just while we have so many levels. That's not bad at all. Okay, bam, we have a full set of armor repaired once more. I think we can fight the wither, so let me just grab some soul sand. Thank you. I just brewed up some fire resistance potions and I think we're good to go to fight the wither. Okay, I've moved away from our base so that we can summon the wither and I also slept off the night so we don't have skeletons like this annoying us. With that, I think we should be good to go. I'm going to drink our fire resistance, golden apple, and boop. Let us drink speed, because that'll be helpful, and I'll also have strength in case we need it. But I think this should go pretty smoothly, if I do say so myself. It is a... Uh, does seem to be a little bit stronger than usual, but that's no worries. We will take it out just fine. One issue, um, I cannot see my health bar. That's not very preferable. I literally have no idea how many hearts I have right now. Oh, that's also not preferable at all. Okay, he's coming for us now. And with our hammer, we should be able to take him out in no time, really. Oh boy, that's a creeper. Goodbye, <laughs> creeper. And dead. Nice. Oh no. If a creeper blows up our loot, oh, I'll be so annoyed. There we go. With our eyes, we got him. We also got a Lord's Soul. Good. That's probably going to be needed to summon another boss. Well, I'd say that went pretty well, folks. With the Wither defeated, we theoretically should have all of the eyes required to open up the Ender Portal. I say we take our eyes, head into the Stronghold, and try to fight the Ender Dragon real quick. I mean, honestly, shouldn't be too, too difficult. Before we do that, though, there's one thing I want to do, which is put the Infinity Book I got onto our bow here. Boom. So that lets us easily shoot at the Ender Dragon. Okay, moment of truth, folks. Moment of truth. Let's see if we can place all of these eyes. And boom. Oh, it worked. It worked. Hey, <laughs> okay. Well, in that case, I'm heading into the end. Oh boy. There's some ore here, thalasium. Let's just try to get to the surface real quick. Oh wow, there it is. The end dragon is looking pretty crazy. Um, oh boy, wait, what are you guys? End Enderman? Are you kidding me? Get away from me. Um, corrupted Pearl teleports to a random location and chorus fruit. Okay, well that's quite random. Anyways, let's blow all this stuff up. There might be one more crystal left. I'm just gonna start shooting at the end dragon though, because I don't know which crystal is left. Totally fine, it's totally fine. I'm doing a lot of damage to this fella though. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm somehow really knocking this ender dragon back. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty funny because I'm kind of able to knock it off its path, which I've never been able to do. And, oh, I almost got it. Literally, like, one shot. Nope, two shots, three shots, four shots, five shots. There we go. And a dragon down. Whoa, that's an aggressive noise, but we got it. Very nice. Give me the XP and the items, please. Ender Dragon plushie. Yeah, you can wear it as a hat. There we go. We got a Lord Soul. Oh, there's, like, an extra heart here heart container which by the way we can get some more heart containers but yeah bam that just gives us an extra heart okay that was successful 
We finally got end stone, so we can make a tier three alloy forge. And I'm in a random spot. Oh boy. I'm a long way from home. <laughs> okay, so we should be able to make a alloy forge out of end stone now. Boom, end stone brick forge controller. And we'll build the new one here. Okay, so with that, we should essentially be able to double our netherite scrap. So we can actually just smelt up the ancient debris itself. And I hope I'm doing this right. Yeah, it seems to be working. We probably didn't have to separate them, but uh, yeah, it's doubling our netherite. Would you look at that? It's also running out of fuel so fast. Look at that. It ran out of fuel already. That was a whole stack of coal. Yeah, I have 19 blocks of coal. If you're telling me that's not enough fuel, oh, I don't know what to tell you. I guess it's worth the cost. There we go. Eight netherite ingots. That's insane. Uh, so now we can upgrade all four pieces of armor. Oh, and I need the netherite upgrade. Okay, I only was able to make three netherite smithing upgrades so uh, that means we need to collect more diamonds the nether is a great place to find diamonds um, I didn't bring a lot of food with me which is my one mistake but uh, hopefully we can find diamonds sooner than later oh I don't have a fortune 3 pickaxe anymore oh my goodness okay I need to quickly get a fortune 3 pickaxe oh that's a mutant enderman please mutant enderman I'm not looking at you <laughs> get me out of there there we go fortune pickaxe Back to the nether I go. Oh, and there we go, diamonds already. And there's more. Yeah, the nether is a great source of diamonds in this pack. I feel like this uh, mutant enemy is trying to attack me. It is trying to attack me. Oh, oh no, I hit it by accident. I hit it by accident with my ground slam. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's chasing me. <gasps> okay, okay. Run. Can I shoot it with arrows? Oh, I can. Oh, I'll get destroyed. I'll go in for a melee hit. Let's go. Oh. Oh, he's dead. But he's about to explode. Oh my god. What is he doing? What is he doing? Stop. 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 Please. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh <laughs> okay, 52 diamonds. Got that real quick and we're good to head out. There we go. That's all the netherite upgrades we need for now, at least. And let's upgrade our gear. Yeah, there we go. Full netherite. We also want to upgrade the pickaxe because there are some ores we've been finding that you can only mine with the netherite tool. And it looks like netherite actually gives you resistance to frost, heat as well, which is interesting. I didn't expect that, but I definitely feel powerful now. Now, one thing I was thinking of doing so that we can actually, you know, feel like a paladin is create a paladin helmet. Or you know what? Not a paladin helmet, but a crusader helmet here. Yes, because that gives us one healing power. And I'm curious if that'll affect our abilities like consecration, because if it really has a big effect on it, it might just be better to use than a netherite helmet. So let us make one. Bam. Ooh, we got it epic as well, which is really beneficial. And then we can enchant it with hopefully protection for unbreaking three. I wouldn't mind if we even added uh, some respiration onto there. Okay, protection four, that's it. But you know what, better than nothing. And I am really curious as to if this will work at all. Uh, also, let's make sure we have some potions. Um, honestly, just having a couple strengths, one speed and some fire resistance is probably good enough. And we also have a bunch of golden apples, so that'll serve us well. Oh, one thing I should do is repair our hammer here because it is not doing very well. Boom. Okay, now here's the thing. I, I'm Before we go anywhere, you know, I'm realizing I haven't done a good job of making use of the cool items we could be making. Like, for example, we can make, with this Essence of Eventide, this Dark Moon Longbow, which is pretty cool. And it has some interesting abilities, like an arrow storm and moonlight arrows that deal purely magic damage. Uh, so those are pretty cool perks, and it uh, looks very easy to make. We just need stick, gold, and and string and then this essence and boom we have this legendary epic dark moon longbow Ooh, okay we got a good roll on it too which is a good sign and i do actually have enough levels to enchantment i kind of wish i put my infinity book on it but it's too late for that 
Let's see if we can re-roll into something good. Power four, hmm. Okay, power four, poison cloud three. You know what, I'll be okay with that. And I think I do have extra arrows. Yeah, boom, I have a whole other stack. And I'd say that we are good to go. Let me just quickly see what this thing looks like when it fires. Ooh, that looks really cool. And then it does have a ability. I don't know how we trigger it though, hold on. Oh yeah. So now we can send down an arrow storm, which is pretty cool. Boom. And oh, you can't actually use the bow after you do that. Good to know. I was also looking through the weapons we can make with our Lord Soul, and I'm really liking this Darken Scythe. Essentially, you start off with a base version of it, and then you get red and blue souls depending on what type of mob the mob is. And at the end, it ends up upgrading the scythe. And I mean, there are a lot of cool weapons here, I have to say. But yeah, I'd like to make this Darken and scythe. It looks like we need crimson ingots for this, and we need demonite chunks for that. We've gotten a few demon hearts, not enough to actually make all the ingots, but I can probably save up for that if we find some more in the nether, especially as we go adventuring right now. Oh, the decaying king. I have accidentally run into this, but you know what? I kind of feel like I just want to take him out. You know, I don't even care if it doesn't give us credit at this point. <laughs> I'm kind of ready to fight, to be honest. And you know, if it doesn't give us credit, worst case, we'll fight it again, okay? And and if we can't do that, I mean, I, I look, I don't know what to tell you, but I don't really want to back down from the challenge and there's a boss right in front of me. You know, I feel like I've been in retirement for too long. So I believe, folks, that we might just have to take this fella on. Oh yeah, here we go. Okay, um, okay. Oh wow, he just instantly starts attacking you. Okay, hold on. Let's just drink fire resistance, strength. Oh my goodness, we're, I mean, I'm very powerful. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, yeah, we're ready. Let's go for it. I'm gonna consecration, divine protection, and I mean, Oh, also our Consecration seems to actually be doing damage, which is awesome, because that means that it can heal us as well. I've been waiting to actually have some holy power, and we finally have some. Oh my goodness. This guy, like, literally only does fire damage. Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. Let's use our new bow. Yeah, buddy. Get him with the arrows. Woo! And he's gone. Wow, that was, um... Very, very easy. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you folks, that was that was quite quick. But we got him, and you know what? I am more than happy with that. Look at that, he dropped the Darken Blade. This is the sword version, I guess, of the scythe I wanted to get. So I kinda wanna use this weapon, and you know what? We can use it in conjunction with our Paladin weapon. We can just use both, because this looks absolutely sick, man. Look at this. It's kinda popping through my head, but yeah. Okay, well, I'm not gonna lie to you folks, we are a lot more powerful than I thought we were. Does that give us any achievement? Uh, the Decaying King. Mm, no, it doesn't, because we have uncompleted dependencies. Okay, Returning Knight. We have to fight that guy. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> that was cool. Let's find the Cathedral. In fact, I'll just make the portal right here. There we go and steal it and let's see what awaits us okay i've spawned in a cave that's fine though let's see cathedral please yes oh okay there is a cathedral nearby so i'll just mark the portal as being here perfecto and i mean it's time to head up to the surface then okay oh hello you guys want to go take that <laughs> Let me use our arrow ability. Oh, yeah. Destroyed. Hold on, though. Why would we travel manually when we can just travel through the nether, right? I mean, now that we have the coordinates, yeah. I mean, why travel 5,000 blocks? So you guys are going to have to excuse me because I'm going to go right back down. Before I go, I am going to quickly find some lava because we need extra obsidian if we want to make another portal. Okay, we just have to go east. I haven't been finding any demons while traveling through the nether still. I don't really know how rare their spawn rate is. It seems to be pretty, pretty rare though. 
Okay, here we go. So right around here should be where the cathedral is. And I'm in a cave with the Mimic. Hello, Mimic. Hi, buddy. Really missed ya. I know. Night vision goggles. Okay. By the way, we got this withered demon heart from the boss as well. There is no beating. There is no blood. As the demon race was cursed by a great artifact long ago, all life had been drained, yet so much raw hatred and power remains. Huh. Chaos orb. All the colors of light and dark pass through this orb. Throw it into the sky to summon deities of night and day. So this is probably like a final boss. We need to get three more items to summon whatever this is. Arkenstone. Okay, so there's more lore. Interesting. You can also make a pure moonlight greatsword used to summon three moonlight beams in split directions. Interesting. Okay, well, that's cool and all, but uh, we have business to attend to, folks. And by business, I mean potentially slaying a massive boss. I just have to get out of this massive cave first, because I'm at negative 50 Y level, which is not good. Okay, we're coming up to surface level here. Oh, I definitely see it. Yep, that's the Cathedral of Resurrection for sure. Look at this place. Oh boy. This place doesn't look very inviting, you know? Oh boy. I hope a boss isn't getting summoned. Hold on, hello? Old Moon Altar. What do I need to do with this? So we need a lost soul. And the way we get that is just by smelting a piece of soul sand, which is easy enough. It's just a little bit annoying. Okay, hold on. Let's look around the chest in the case that they have a lost soul. This is a really cool structure, by the way. Oh, okay. We got some encrypted text here. Ritual. Ooh. Um, okay. Don't love to see that. Oh, astral influence. Ha! Of course Fenrir found a loophole. Although it is not the most ethical way, I must say it certainly worked. I am glad the other went with the ritual. I'd rather not pry into the dark arts too much. Hopefully no one questions the dark sigils on the Titan. They shouldn't realize the symbols anyway. It will definitely help with the Titan when the time comes too. There is no doubt about it. Our prayers are being heard. They must be waiting. Waiting for our ritual. The first attempts did not go so smoothly, nor the second, nor the third. The orb seems to reject the soul of... Why would it reject it? Is the soul too powerful? That doesn't make sense. They said it could hold millions of demon souls. This is not good. We cannot delay our plans further. We cannot risk the knowing of our discovery of godhood. We must find a way. Whoa, godhood. Interesting. I've never used that word. Got more chests. Okay. Well, we have to go get a lost soul, and there is a lava pool on the surface, so I'm just going to use that for obsidian, and hopefully we can get this done quickly. Bam. There we go. Soul sand. Gimme, gimme. And that should be it. And here's our portal, which I forgot to mark down, so good thing I found it. Okay, let's quickly craft ourselves a furnace. Boom. And then we just need to get a lost soul. Yeah, boom. Lost soul. So with that... It's Time for us to head into the cathedral, folks. And, oh, hello, Dark Sorcerer. Oh, these guys were not here before. Okay, I'm gonna need to use our hammer because this does exponentially more damage than anything else right now. I'm going to get a fire resistance potion on just in case there's any fire damage. We wanna avoid that. And other than that, with golden apples and our divine protection, I think we are good to go. Oh, okay. That's really sick. Hello, buddy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, let's go. This guy s s looks sick. Oh, and we have to kill his sorcerers. Otherwise, it looks like they heal him. Remnants. Okay, go, go. Dodge his attack. <laughs> this is not bad at all. Let's use our bow on him. Doesn't look like that worked too well. Oof, okay. I just hope my gear isn't breaking. Take this sorcerer out. Take this guy out. Wow, this guy heals a lot. I'm just gonna keep crit hitting him. Oh, okay. Okay, another sorcerer. Gotta take him out literally ASAP. My gear is starting to break. Uh, this is not good. Okay, how about we kill you? Yeah. 20 health, come on, 20, four, zero. You can now craft the Orb of Origin. Ooh, there we go. 
We got him. He dropped a weapon. A bunch of things are dropping here. Nightfall, Lord Soul, Arkenstone. We need that for that final item we found. Third time's a charm. Acquire the Nightfall and command your own undead army. Cool. Last arrival, defeat the returning knight. So it seems like we need spirit orbs. I'm glad we've kept ours. Lost souls, which we have, and a soul star. We have all of these ingredients. So we can definitely craft this. I just don't know exactly what it will be used for. Okay, we've completed this chapter, so that's beautiful. And I'd say that we did really, really well. Now let me quickly take a look at this new weapon we got called Nightfall. You may raise Remnant Companion while killing undead. Yeah, so I kind of looked into this. Um, you can press a keybind to gain resistance and absorption, which is really nice. And you can charge and shatter mobs ahead. I mean, that's a pretty cool weapon. And look how big it is. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That's a pretty, pretty sick looking weapon. Hello, horse. I'm not going to kill you with this weapon. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so So sorry. I don't want to talk about what I just did. I've been corrupted by this weapon. It wasn't my fault. Anyways, I'm extremely fast. Like nowadays, which is new. The Fallen Icon. Summon him by right-clicking with Essence of Eventide. Okay. Well, maybe we shouldn't have used ours, but um, we still probably want to fight this boss. So that means we have to fight the old champion's remains again. Let me actually see if we can find the structure. What would it be called though? Champion's Graves. Okay, off we go again. <laughs> Okay, should be right around here. Oh, and I've spawned in the deep dark. That's that's not great. I, I ended up spawning inside a really large mountain, so it's taking me a long time to mine up, but uh, I do see the old champion's remains on my screen, which means it should be near us somewhere here. Here we go, oh boy. Okay, I fell right on in. Oh, okay, hello. I have the wrong weapon selected, but let's just try the nightfall real quick. <laughs> I mean, pretty, pretty normal, you know? I'd say pretty normal. It attacks faster, that's for sure. But it's not doing any crazy damage at all. Whereas, if we put on our hammer, oh, we just mow him down. Okay, and there's the frenzied spirit, which we are definitely gonna want a shield for. <laughs> but even then, it's just like, it's getting demolished. And I think we defeated it. Yes, we did. Okay, Essence of Eventide. So theoretically, that's what we needed there. Okie dokie, that was easy peasy. Look at my helmet. Okay, at this point, we're definitely returning home <laughs> with our little Ender Dragon plushie on the top of our head. What I actually realized is I can just make a waystone. Just gonna grab two pieces of flint. Oh, wait, 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 you know what? No, here's what I can do. I just go boom, 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 and then boom. I use this, I can teleport straight back home. Oh, there we go. I forgot, we don't even need to craft a waste stone. Okay, well, we need to repair our gear. So I'm gonna do that as best as I can, which honestly isn't isn't that great. And wow, that chest plate just cost me 32 levels to repair. I didn't realize, <laughs> oh no, uh, I did that wrong. I should have, I needed to replace the chest plate, but I did not. Okay, now can I repair this Crusader helmet? And we can repair it, oh beautiful, okay. And I can probably get some levels. Yeah, 20 levels from there. And another right ingot, beautiful. So boom, we can repair the helmet fully. Okay, now I'd like to defeat the other bosses remaining. There's the fallen icon, which it seems we summoned by right-clicking with Essence of Eventide. So we can try to test it out outside of our base here. Let's head out a little bit. This isn't necessarily the most cinematic spot though, you know what I mean? It doesn't feel right. I think I'll just summon this boss in the nether. That'll feel a bit more right, if that's something we can do. Let's see if it works. Mm, no, it's not working. Okay, you know what it might be, folks? I might have to use this Essence of Eventide at the same ritual spot we fought the Returning Knight in. So, you know what? I think we should head back there. Oh, look what I found, Adam and Knight. It's hard to say, but this is the material we needed to make that hallowed armor. That makes me kind of want to look through a bit more of this cave because I had not found 
anything before, and if I found it here, maybe we can find some more. Yep, here's more. That's good. Wow, okay, so this seems to be maybe biome-based or something because, yeah, I'm finding a lot of this stuff here. Runite ore, I don't know what that is. Okay, I reached a big lava pool here just because I am still trying to find more of this ore. I'm up to 38 adamantite, which is really good. Um, I'm more worried now about the other ores that we needed to collect because as for this one, it seems like we have as much as we need. I can't lie to you folks, I'm kind of excited because that means we can make some very powerful gear that I've been wanting to make since the beginning of the 100 days, really. And even though it's a bit late, better late than ever, really. Now, I'd say it's time to go to the returning knight building and summon this next boss we want to fight. Okay, here we are. Oh, and the altar's not even here, dude. Oh my goodness. So it seems like we would need the altar, but I don't know if we can make it. We can these are easy materials iron skull that's fairly easy too okay unfortunately all of those materials are at home in that case we will head home and then summon the boss close by and you know what that's okay because on this trip we actually ended up getting a lot of good things like food and we got the important ore that we wanted so that's good and just as I'm on my way home here, I'm curious to check in on the Decaying King's Tower because I want to see if he respawned potentially. That would save us a lot of time. I'm guessing it didn't respawn. Yeah, and there's no altar here or anything either. Okay, good that we checked though. Okay, let us craft this altar. Bam, iron skull, and bam, old moon altar. So using that, we should be able to summon this next boss. I'm not going to travel anymore for it. We're just going to fight it out here. Okay, uh, golden apples in hand. Strength potion ready. Let me eat a golden apple. Let's place the altar, and let's summon... This boss, oh, fallen icon, there he is. Okay, that definitely worked. Uh, strength potion, oh. Yeah, this guy looks like an upgraded version of the fellow we fought. I shielded right away. Oh my God, this guy's taking like three damage a hit. Okay, um, okay, this is definitely a stronger boss. Oh boy, oh, not the blindness. Oh, I have no more healing runes. No, 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 oh. okay. I can't Divine Shield anymore. It's fine. It's fine, right? It's fine. Oh, okay. I really don't like that ability. Hello. Take that. Take that, my friend. You're done. You're done, pal. Oh, boy. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. No, 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 no. He has a... Harbi... Oh! Dude! This guy just one-shot me. This guy literally almost just demolished me right there if I didn't have any totem of a dying. Are you kidding me? Okay, hold on. Um, we should make this new set of armor because clearly fighting that guy with the current set we have is not working. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Do I have enough ores? Okay, so it looks like I do have enough ores for a full set. Now, I wish I had more mithril because we're going to need more of it if we want to make ingots to repair the armor later. But for now, folks, this is a huge accomplishment. And I'm hoping everything will go smoothly in regards to this. Oh, no. You need a forge controller of tier 2 specifically. Oh, no. I'd, okay. <laughs> okay, blackstone's probably going to be the easiest thing for us to get. Yet, so I'll quickly head into the nether and do that. I still am shocked over the fact that we almost got absolutely demolished in a split second by that boss. Like, I don't even know what to tell you guys about it. <laughs> Here we go, Blackstone Basin. This has what we need. Boom, Blast Furnace. There's our tier two, Blackstone Forge. And now we just need to build it like we normally do. Bam. Okay, round two. I need more coal though. Uh-oh. Do I need to go mining for coal? Uh, probably, but I'll set it to smelt for a bit with the little amount of coal we do have. Let me just confirm that it actually works. 
I almost am not gonna believe it if this works. <laughs> Boom, hallowed ingot. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. La la la. Coal mining, so fun. Okay, there we go. And the hallowed ingots are coming along, folks. We can craft this very, very, very powerful gear. Oh boy. Um, one problem. Look at the trait that I just got on that. 50% negative durability. Are you messing with me right now? And that's so bad too. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, not all that work for this to happen. Oh my goodness. Um, well, this is why I would have liked to have a lot more of the resources required. Okay, leggings, please. No, why are you doing this to me? Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to head down and see if I can find more of this mithril stuff uh, really quickly though. Uh, Crystal heart increases wearer's maximum health by 10. I think that means like five hearts. What belt do I have on now? Oh, I have the double jump. No, you're gonna make me pick between the double jump and the 10 health increase. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. Um, okay, I'm gonna go with the double jump for now, but this during the boss fight probably is gonna be very good to use. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it, this is mithril ore. <gasps> Hold on. Um, okay, that was one little vein. Okay, let's teleport over here and we might be able to find more mithril around here. Let's see. I see some over there. There we go, more mithril. This is the cave where we were finding a bunch of mithril. Good thing I left our waystone here and I kind of remembered. And yeah, there's a whole bunch of mithril around here. Oh, thank goodness. That's why I was confused, because I thought I had picked up a lot more, and I still might have, but I didn't see it in my chest. I, I don't know. Okay, 44 raw mithril. There we go, folks. Let's see, how much of each ingot are we gonna be able to make? A decent amount. It's mainly this atom and tight that we actually don't have enough of anymore, but you know what? For now, I'm just gonna be happy with this. Hopefully we can get better rolls on our armor. Yeah, um, okay, that is not much better. We can take a roll and combine these and see if we can get something more so decent. And we failed, okay. Uh, uncommon Hallowed Helmet, this is a lot better than that. So you know what, we'll probably deal with it. Um, if we smelt this down, we get one uh, Hallowed Nugget. We get one nugget if we smelt it down, um, which is not very helpful. Uh, but it is what it is. Oof. Yeah, we have 10 more hallowed ingots left. So the boots really bad still. We're gonna want to try again. There we go. Okay, at least it has more beneficial perks than harmful ones. I do have one small idea that could work, which is the fact that when we were getting that ore, it was way down below in like Y level negative 40. So maybe if I go down to Y level negative 40 again at this port, yeah, essentially, if we can go to a large lava pool like we did before, that could be the solve to our issue. Okay, here we are. Uh, this is the moment where we find out if there is hope for us. Oh my god, maybe there actually is. There we go, got that, thank you. Okay, I'm seeing more and more pop up, guys. So we have uh, actually found what we need to make more ore. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Whoa, strange disc. Okay, that's interesting. We might wanna play that at the end of the 100 days. You know what? I'm gonna try to remember to do that. Okay, I mean, I've already gotten 27, which is probably gonna be enough. Yeah, we have a pretty equal amount of everything. So that's very, very nice. Oh, and you know what I've learned? Making blocks of coal instead of just regular coal is way better for using heat. Like it's so much more efficient because I just put in a stack and it probably gave me three fourths of this much. Now, if I put in a box of coal, oh, beautiful. Okay, and with that, we can perfect our gear. Not a good chest plate, combine those. Not a good chest plate, but it's okay because we can make more. Leggings, also bad. Give me something better, there we go. Ooh, and an epic chest plate. That is what I like to see. Protection four, okay, not bad. Protection four, not bad. Protection four, okay, These, not, not too great. I'm not gonna lie to you folks, not too great, but it is what it is. It'll have to do, it'll have to do. I will say we're looking cool, we're looking cool. 
I do wish we had death barter on this chest plate. Okay, only issue is I've run out of lapis again, so I have to go mining again. Here we go. Okay, lapis please. There we go, death barter three. Oh, I just need some levels, which I thought I might have. I think I do, yeah, there we go. Boom and boom. So now we can put that on our chest plate as well, I think. Let's just confirm. I don't want to actually do it yet, but see if it works. Yes, it does. Beautiful. Okay, and we can actually do that with the extra gear. Yeah, so we can just enchant all of them to get unbreaking. There we go, unbreaking. I need more levels. Unbreaking, thank you. We need unbreaking on this one. Thank you. Okay, let us combine all of our pieces of gear. Go. Full set of armor, full on breaking protection four, and the traits are pretty good. Now, going into any boss fights, I'm going to make sure we literally have as many emeralds on us as possible. I know it's funny, but uh, these are each like individually totems of undying, basically, and we don't even have to hold them in our hand, which is nice. We also have the crystal heart, which can increase our health by a lot. Oh, you know what we should do for sure is make more healing runes. There we go. And I would spend time making potions and everything, but honestly, I don't think we have enough time to do that. So uh, first of all, we need to head out and defeat this boss that basically almost one shot us a moment ago. I hope he's still out there because I do not want to have to resummon him. Now, if we're going to go in close proximity. I'm just going to make sure we have some absorption hearts and we can make extra golden apples later. So that's not a problem. Let's see if this guy is still here though. Okay, Harbinger of Moonlight, we're gonna go in. I have my Divine Shield this time, which is very helpful. Oh, and he's not taking any damage. Oh boy, great. Okay, there we go. Okay, he's taking damage now, good. I don't know, yeah, there is actually the potential to dodge his attacks. I just have to fight him in F5 so I can actually see what is going on. Oh boy, I don't know what he's doing. We're dodging that. Okay, apparently not. Oh boy. He definitely tanks down my health. He's gotten about half of it <laughs> just out of the way. That's good, we dodged that. Oh boy, oh, and that's a summoning. Wow, this guy is a stacked boss, man, okay. Gonna build an apple and eat some food. Regenerate our health that way, hopefully. And crits, crits, crits. Gonna build an apple. Oh no, I'm pretty sure uh, enchanted mob is somewhere nearby. I'm going to hope that that does not affect us. Someone dropped a weapon. Wow, that looks cool. I don't know if it's any use. I have no time to check it right now. I'm just gonna keep doing damage to everybody with this hammer. Okay, and I don't like getting blinded. I'm gonna eat a golden apple and dodge that food. Okay, go. It's especially good when we can crit our smite. We do a lot of damage then. Uh-oh, okay. I just hope this guy doesn't have a third phase. There's no way, right? Like, that's impossible. We're gonna get him. There we go. That's gotta be it, right? No, 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 no. Dude, come on, come on. You've gotta be, you've got, you're literally, you're trolling me. I'm literally being trolled. Okay, I dodged a bunch of attacks. This has to be the final, the f oh boy. Okay. Oh, you know what happened? He reset, that's why, he reset. Oh my God, are you kidding me? Okay, okay, this boss is no joke. Oh my God, the zombie is attacking him. I guess that's good. Uh oh. Yeah, and the zombie's dead. That's what happens when you try to attack this boss. Okay. You know what? Let's try to make use of our bow. Because this guy obviously... Oh, and we can't use our bow on him. Are you kidding me? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He just demolished me. All of my health. Okay, we're just... I'm just dealing damage to him. Like, I don't even know what to tell you. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, it's fine. Heal up. I'm just basically trying to crit him with smites and then run. Good, 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 good hit. And then we have divine protection. 
Okay, run. Okay, find protection. Beautiful. Okay, good. Got a bunch of hits. Oh boy. Divine shielding, golden appling. This is a little bit hard to fight him <laughs> in this terrain. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay, it's also hard when he explodes me up in the air. Okay, go, go, go. Good hits. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Please, please, please. Oh my god. Okay. He's like 1 HP, dude. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Woo! I think we got him. I think we got him. <laughs> oh, that was that was a pretty crazy fight, dude. That was um wow. This guy, let's see what items he dropped. But this guy was no joke. Moonlight Greatsword. Used to summon moonlight beams. Yeah, this is a really cool sword. Look at that. And then what else do we have? Essence of Luminescence. That spawns another boss, I believe. We got this random double-edged greatsword. That's just okay. A Lord Soul. The true soul of the old champion. So powerful that it shattered the Arkenstone containing it. Wow. Oh, that was quite the fight. Woo. Okay, we did it but our adventures are not over yet because there is still a few more bosses. And if they're anywhere near as powerful as that, we're gonna have some struggles. So I hope that was the most powerful one. Although, folks, uh, if we look up here, there is another layer to this. So yeah, uh, I'm scared. Okay, let me try this moonbeam thing. Looks like you kind of activate it just like a bow. It doesn't really do it on its own unless... Yeah, no, you just right click. So it's like a dual weapon. It can either be melee or ranged. I guess that's pretty cool. And mob kills, we just completed a quest. I'm pretty sure that means we've literally defeated like a thousand mobs. <laughs> that's quite the number to reach on day 99. Okay, I'm gonna hurry up here because we've gotta figure out what we're gonna be up to. If we wanna craft this chaos orb, we have this. We have this now. We do we have the Arkenstone? That's a good question. But we do need the Crown of Chaos. We need to summon a mage called the Monarch of Chaos, who's apparently a very powerful, powerful mage. And in order to do that, we need to use the Shard of Uncertainty, which we got from the Wither. And then we need to put that on a Blackstone pedestal. Great. Boom, Blackstone Pedestal. Okay, so that'll summon this mage boss, uh, which is a little bit scary. I would like to fight this boss somewhere else, maybe in the end dimension. You know what, I'd be down with that because I want to switch it up a little bit. We can use our rings better because, you know, I've been using the ones that give me some healing perks, but we don't really need that anymore. And I have so many apples, so we can make quite a significant amount of golden ones. I think I have more gold too. Yeah, look at that. We can smelt that using our different alloy forges even. So bam, bam. I got this power glove from the quest, which gives us plus four attack damage. That's better than this piston thing because it just gives us extra knockback, which we don't really need. Let's see here. 33 more golden apples and I can make even more. Bam, 40 golden apples total. Very good amount. I say we head into the nether and begin this fight that is concerning because I have no idea what it's going to be like. So let us head over to the end. Okay, well, we're here. Oh boy, the only problem is these guys, but uh, we can take them out easily. And uh, yeah, I mean, I guess there's not much left for us to do other than to go ahead and summon this boss. Let's go for it. I'll have my Enchanted Golden Apples with us. And oh boy, Monarch of Chaos, there it is. Let's go, uh oh, okay. Well, the Endermen are coming after me, that's fine. Oh my goodness, I'm doing so much damage to this thing. Oh, this is way easier. Oh yeah. Take that, buddy. <laughs> it's dead. It's gone. That was fast. Oh, I'm happy about that. And there is the Crown of Chaos. Equipped to gain immunity to decay, regeneration while having decay effect, and permanent luck. 
What does that crown look like? Pretty cool, pretty cool. Cape of Chaos, I didn't know about that. Equip to wither all nearby grass and dirt blocks for a short duration. Every two seconds apply wither to nearby non-player entities. Whoa. I don't know if I'm actually going to use this, but it is pretty freaky looking. Oh, and Withered Wabajack. Summons random projectiles with random effects. Okay. I am curious. Oh, um, um, it also throws ender pearls. This is the randomest thing ever. Holy moly. This is crazy. Anyways, with that collected, all we need is the Arkenstone. So if we combine all four of these together, boom, the chaos orb. All the colors of light and dark pass through this orb. Throw it into the sky to summon the deities of night and day. And folks, it is nighttime technically, day 100, but we still have a little bit more time to take out this final boss. Okay, folks, um, yeah, this is a little bit horrifying. I don't know what will come out of it, but I guess we should summon, what, it would be the Night Stalker at this point? And you know what? We're going to summon it right over here. Let's go, folks. We don't have much time to spare. Boom. I threw the orb up in the air. I'm going to Golden Apple, have my Enchanted Golden Apples. Oh, my God, they both spawn at the same time. Oh, no. Um, okay. Okay. Um, oh no, can I not even... Oh god. Okay, let's go. I guess I can't even... Oh my god, it's gonna one-shot me. What have I done? No, I need a more powerful bow for this. Okay, hold on. Here it is. There we go. When it's... Oh my god. It's gonna... It's just destroying me. Okay, let's go. This is, this is terrible. Oh no. They both just team up on you too. Okay, let's go. Just crit hits is literally the only way we're gonna be able to do this. Oh, please, please don't hit me. Thank you. Please. I've gotten them down a pretty good amount of health, but I also literally cannot see anything. I'm glad I kept the double jump on for this fight because goodness gracious, I can barely move around. Okay. I have my divine shield for a bit. Oh, man, it's already run out. Okay, okay. Golden apple. Oh, boy. I really don't like that both of these fellas spawn at the same time. Let's go. Oh, I'm gonna get one of them. There we go. Woo! Uh-oh, why is the second one full health again? No, dude, you can't do this to me. Okay. Let's go, buddy. Bow at this fella a little bit. Oh my god. Okay, I'm eating my second enchanted golden apple. Let's go. Wow. This is... Oh, this is overwhelming. Oh god. Come on. We have them below half health, man. It's so close. I'm just gonna bow at it while it does this. I'd rather not be hit by a huge meteor. Okay, back up in the sky. Oh, man, it's... Okay, it's grand slamming me. Great. Okay, I'm going in for another hit. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to get destroyed. Okay, great, 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 great. I don't know how many emeralds we have left. Not a lot. Um, I need to put more on my inventory. There we go. Okay, I need to get some good crit hits here. But it's really hard to hit this thing. There we go. Oh, boy. What is it doing now? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, man, these are the sickest fights I've ever seen in my life. Okay, okay. Let's use our special ability with our bow. Die. Please die. Please die. Come on. Woo! We got it. We got it. I don't know if it's going to explode. I'm just going to run away. Okay. We actually got it. We actually took it out. What did it drop? Dawnbreaker. Killing undead may cause an explosion that damages fears and sets nearby undead on fire. Blazing Blade sets mobs on fire for longer, scaling off a of fire respect level. Uh-huh. Lord Soul, deity of the daylight. Long ago, a group of ancients prayed to her and her sister. Oh, that was two sisters? Interesting. Wow. 
That was uh, definitely one of the coolest fights I've ever done in my life. And folks, I mean, that marks us defeating every boss from Miriam's soul-like weaponry, which is really, really nice. I've never defeated all those bosses. And I mean, it's day 100, so I'd say that we ended this off really successfully. There was one more thing I wanted to do before we ended off this 100 days though, and it involved the jukebox and a very cursed looking disc. Strange disc. Let's play it. Huh. It's just making like crystal noises. What is going on? Whoa. Is it starting to play a song? Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. 